Hello, friends. Welcome in. Happy Wednesday. Happy time zone. I hope you're all doing incredibly well. It's so nice to see you all. Some returning faces, some new faces. Thank you so much for joining today's stream. Because you love me. Not because I'm playing Coral Island. It's not because I'm playing Coral Island and there's news and we're excited. It's because you guys love me. And I love you guys too. Thank you so much to Tansy, Jack, Cisco, and Alyssa for modding today. We got a full roster. We got a full roster. Thank you for sharing your time with the community. Love you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so nice to see so many of you. I feel like I've missed you. I feel like I've missed some of you. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. RH, Adriana, Faye, Ruby, Sailor, Stephanie, Ruby, welcome in, Jasmine, Emmy, Marcus, One Eye Garden Gnome, uh, Red Eyed Dwarf, because both, exactly. We love Coral Island. It's me, hello, Becca, uh, Saza, Kawaii, Ari, Business, Bone, Kidada, hello, hello, Carlos, Coatsy, Ari, Cherry, hi, Jen, hi. It's nice to see you guys, my goodness. Cupcake, Rochelle, Josh, Sweater Monster, Angel. Hi, friends, Terry, hi. Hello, hello. Karan's a great bonus, my gosh. You guys, I'm so excited. <laughs> I wanna like scream because we have a release date for the game. Is that not crazy, crazy? Like, and it's it's not just a release date, it's for this year, you guys, this year, next month. Like, what? So soon, I'm not ready, but we're gonna get ready. I mean, today we're gonna get in the festive fall vibes. We're gonna check out the Harvest Festival. Uh, I think there's some new stuff based on the trailer we saw yesterday, um, or was it, was it yesterday? Oh my gosh, you guys, yesterday felt like three days in one. <laughs> I think it was yesterday. Um, and yeah, so no spoilers, please, because I haven't gone to the festival since all the updates, but I'm so excited. Um, and yeah, we're going to chat about all the news, uh, all the good stuff. I am going to liquidate my farm. Not today. We're going to do a dedicated stream for that, Cherry. It's going to be super fun. Shannon, hi. Lamia, hello. Welcome in. Welcome in, friends. My goodness. Are we so hype? I'm so hype. I'm so hype, you guys. Like, I can't explain it to you. Like, oh my gosh, we're going to get, we're just going to get into this game because to be honest, I have missed playing Coral Island. I think it's been, I don't know exactly how long it's been. Let's get some good music going. We're gonna get in the full Coral Island vibe. The full vibe, the whole vibe, nothing but the vibe. Let's get into it. Let's get some uh, other official soundtrack, original soundtrack. Let's get that going. Oh yes, yeah, so good, so good. It always feels like coming home when we play Coral Island, but. I just felt like I had exhausted most of the options. I mean, we could keep designing and making money and stuff, but I'm glad we didn't because we're getting that reset and I'm so excited for it. Uh, Josh, also with the one month, we need emeralds in the chat for Josh. I see your palm tree. I told you it would melt. The popsicle, not the palm tree. Thankful for this wonderful community and super excited for 1.0 on November 14th. Josh, I'm so hype. Thank you for being a member for one entire month. Uh, thank you so much for the support. Yeah, I'm so hype and I'm just curious. I'm like, of course, I'm like, but what time? <laughs> but what time is it going to release at? Because we got to plan a stream, you guys. Like we're going to be streaming the minute it drops, the minute, if we can. If I might have to download it first. I don't know how it's going to work, but you guys, oh my gosh, I'm like shaking just thinking about it right now. I'm so excited. And we get to start from the beginning, like, but we get to keep our money. We get to keep our money. So we're going to be like super OP and we're going to be able to buy all this stuff. Uh, Eden, thank you for lurking. Enjoy your lurk. Belinda, hello. Melita, hello. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, we got a gemstone makeover. You guys, a lot of stuff has happened. If you haven't been around since the last Coral Island stream, a lot of stuff has happened. Let me tell you. We've got a lot going on here. So it's nice to see you guys again. Uh, Tatiana, hello. Oh, no way. Are we popping off with this? We're popping off with this. And we can finally marry. We can have kids if you want to have kids. There's like... Oh my gosh, the wedding. Oh, we have to still do the full trailer breakdown, which I'm going to do uh, after today's stream. I'm going to start working on that. Uh, I had to get out like my reaction and uh, breakdown of the news first, but we have so much to go over. There was so much in the trailer. Bobby was in the trailer and I have never seen Bobby before, you guys. You guys absolutely oh, bless your hearts and souls. Thank you for keeping everything a surprise because I know some of you knew. I know some of you knew about this. Some of you guys play this game like 
so much more than I can. So I know you knew this and you guys didn't, you didn't say one peep. So thank you so much, you guys, you're the best. I, and you have to know this by now, you guys are the best. Uh, and Shannon, with the 10 months, we got Citrines in chat for Shannon. Happy to be here with all of you. Thank you, Shannon, appreciate you so much. You are going to be floating on your flamingo floaty so soon. So soon. Thank you, Shannon. All the love. All the love. Okay. Bobby's here, you guys. Bobby is here. This is crazy. Bobby only showed up for me today. He knew. He knew he had his debut in the trailer. And he's like, okay, we got to roll up now in all the farms. Bobby gives me the egg. Arnica, I will. I mean. <sighs> I, I'm I'm just excited. I'm just excited there's a new character, but like, look, Wobbin, wait, we got, oh, wait, wait, theory. I don't even know. <laughs> what if, you guys probably know, don't tell me. I'm seeing like this, this is giving like, oh, it's a beluga? No, it's a, okay, he's got something on him. Let's see. Bobby says, well, 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 so you're this year's competition, huh? I am, I guess, right? <laughs> oh yeah, Harvest Festival. <laughs> I'm like, competition? What are you looking around for? Oh! <gasps> Is he puking at me? Did he just puke at me? It looks like we gave Bobby the ick, Arnica. We gave Bobby the ick? He like, Uno reversed us? That's so rude. He feels like he's worse than Walter. Okay, new tier list. <laughs> new tier list everyone included just so we can <laughs> evict more people from the island uh kimberly hello becca with the nine months my gosh you guys i can't believe it we need sunstones in the chat for becca wow nine months so glad to be in this amazing community so glad i'm able to see a live stream before i leave for my road trip to go see my cousin get married oh my gosh i'm glad you could catch another live stream too before that have so much fun have so, so much fun. That's going to be so delightful. All the love, Becca. I appreciate all your support so, so much. You're the best. Oh my gosh. Have, have seriously so much fun. And we'll see you when you get back. Of course. We'll always be here. There'll be all the replays for you too. Even better. Wow, nine months. I appreciate that. You're going to be... You're getting... You guys are getting... You guys, these milestones are getting... They're climbing higher and higher. And I'm... You guys, I'm like... Okay. I got to chill. <laughs> got to compose ourselves, Sarah. We're good. He is worse than Walter. He has to be, right, Beth? He's gotta be. James, hello, welcome in. Super eviction, a yeet. New, new tier, Y tier, yeet. <laughs> okay, so Bobby says, not that I'm worried or anything. It's actually pretty adorable, the effort you're putting in. Oh my gosh, don't call me adorable, please. Look at your poor withered crops. Okay, it's not my fault that... It's the turn of the season and I haven't played, okay? They are actually withered, so. <laughs> He's not wrong, but he doesn't know how much I have in storage, okay? He doesn't know. He doesn't know how much I've got in my little storage bins. If this is all I'm up against, I've basically already won this thing. Oh, they're making you like really want to win, hey? They're making you, like, really want to go in on Bobby. Uh, Jacob, thank you for the sub. Welcome in. Uh, Faye, nice to see you. Sleepy. Alina, hello. Papa Squat, hi. So rude. So rude. Carlos, hi. He gives more than the ick. It's like the next level. Oh! <laughs> and he has anger issues? Okay. Great. Cherry on top. A red flag. On top of all the other red flags. Wait, you have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? I feel like I need to document this. I need evidence that he was fuming at me. The ick doesn't even claim him. Oh my gosh. He needs to chill, hey? I don't know what you're talking- I mean, I kind of do- I kind of do, but- Come on, the Harvest Festival. All right. I would have had no idea if it weren't for the trailer, though. I've been like, what are you talking about, dude? It's like the biggest deal of the year for us farmers. Okay. 
Beluga. Oh. This is a beluga, right? Beluga Bay. <gasps> Jeff Smith? No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh my gosh. I mean, um, hold on. I just saw Jeff Smith in bold. Beluga Bay and Starlet Town go head to head. And this hotshot farmer, Jeff Smith, judges the stuff we show off. I hope he's not just calling in. I hope he's going to be there. If I got to meet Jeff Smith. Oh my gosh. What if he, what if it's like, what did they say? Don't meet. Don't meet celebrities or something don't meet your idol i don't remember what they say oh my gosh i hope he doesn't disappoint me i love jeff smith i love jeff smith so much anastasia hello jeff smith is like you guys one of my favorite characters i don't know why i just like i like his tv show don't meet your idols okay well maybe we shouldn't meet jeff smith then i don't want i have this picture of jeff smith being like just the funniest most perfect farmer who like calls us sprouts and just wants the best for us i don't know <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's actually coming. We're gonna have to wait and find out. Does the 15th of fall mean anything to you? Uh oh yeah, just just let him stir in his own emotions. Honestly, you're kind of a pain sometimes. Okay, where is that ick? Let's bring that back. Ugh. Daddy always ugh. Daddy always said winning this thing is all about charm, strategy, and having the best produce. Looks like I've already won on all three counts. <sighs> eviction, please. You guys, we need to we need to write an eviction notice ASAP. I can't. <laughs> it does just get worse and worse. Worse and worse and worse. Leah's better than this? Oh, yeah. By a long shot, Marcus. By a long shot. Good luck, farmer. Sarah. Okay, farmer, Bobby, whatever. You're seriously gonna need it. Oh my gosh, this is such a good villain character. I love it. I hate him and I love it. Quota I know. A farmer? Quotation marks? Get out of here, dude. Oh my gosh, he's literally just like making fun of me and like mocking me. Just my existence. Ah. Okay. We need a gate for our farms to keep out NPCs like him. Seriously, why did I do? Why does he just get to show up on my doorstep? Uh, Alexander, thank you for lurking. Enjoy your lurk. Uh, Daniela, hello, welcome in. Okay, we have mail. Oh, we have a lot of mail. I skipped ahead of a few days. <laughs> okay. So this one we're not doing today. This is, we're not doing today because that's in the ocean. It's from Choyu. Oh. Dear Sarah, it's Scott. I was thinking about you and how much fun we always have when, you, when we hung out. Maybe you can come to the tavern this evening at 7 p.m. and meet my friends. We're going to have so much fun. Don't make me go to your farm and get you. What if I do? What if I do? Wait, 7 p.m.? Wait, but that was in the summer. Well, maybe we can still. <laughs> Karen has villain competition. Tansy, I almost think I like Karen more. You know? I don't know. <laughs> maybe not. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Kem sent me some pasta. Uh, we missed the animal festival. That's fine. We'll, we'll get it in 1.0. Um, thank you, Connor. Wow, I've been not reading my inbox. <laughs> <Hope. laughs> Carlos says, hope Karen is dateable. Um, redemption arc for Karen, you know? She's just, I like, I don't know. I like her as a villain character, but I also like to think she's just doing her best. And she doesn't know better, but... Okay, we missed the beach clip. Wow, we're gonna get no merit points. <laughs> Okay, this is what we want. The Harvest Festival is coming up on fall 15th. So this is the next day. We're on day 14 at 7 p.m. in Aluna Loon Square. Legendary farmer Jeff Smith will be the judge for the Harvest Display Contest. To enter, bring your best products from each of the following six categories. Uh-oh, I haven't prepped. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> we need a vegetable, a fruit, a flower, coop product barn product and an artisan product and i'm sure my animals since they're fully automated they have a fully automated setup i'm sure they're fine they haven't noticed it's now suddenly fall 
Oh, thank you, Sunny, for the single piece of bait. The Harvest Festival is tomorrow at 7 p.m. in Aluna Loon Square. Remember to bring your six best items for the Harvest Display Contest. Okay, we gotta get our items, you guys. Best quality, I would say. I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend we're not gonna meet Jeff Smith because if we don't, I'm gonna be I'm just gonna, you know, we set the expectations. You guys know how I do things. I set them kind of at ground zero. And then anything is just great. That's how, that's kind of how I do life. And then I feel like I'm not often disappointed because, you know. I didn't have high expectations. Um, I feel like I don't even know if I should be like keeping this stuff. I feel like we're just gonna be. I'm actually really excited for that stream, you guys. Um, it'll probably be the last stream before last Coral Island stream before the full version. We'll do a full farm liquidation and teardown. It's gonna be. It could be a long one. I don't know how long it'll take, but it'll be really fun. Let's check in on our animals because they're probably really happy. <laughs> I have everything for them. I have the full setup. They should be happy. Look at all this grass too. My name with the five gifted memberships. Wow, thank you so much. That's so kind and generous of you. I appreciate that. The memberships went to Adriana, Honeybean, Paprika, Hufflewoof, and Lorraine. So you guys all have access to the exclusive emotes for an entire month. So you get spooky emotes uh, for the rest of this month and then back to my, my main girl. Uh, in November and we always switch them up for like different streams depending on what we're playing so Enjoy them. My name. Thank you so so much gifts in the chat Please and thank you for my name. You guys are on it already because I'm over here hanging out <laughs> I'm over here hanging out with my animals. Oh, yeah, they have they're out of stock. Okay. Yep yeah. But there's probably Look, there's an osmium duck egg. So we're fine. We're fine. They're out of stock. You guys can eat the grass now. Perfect timing. They probably just ran out like today. So it was perfect timing. My name says you got this, Sarah. Appreciate you. I appreciate you very much. My decorations gave me quite a bit when I sold them. Yeah, Cherry, I'm going to sell everything. Everything I possibly can. And I'm realizing that's going to be like a multi-day project because you can't. Your shipping bin has a limit, right? So we're going to be... Well, it's going to be fun. It's going to be very fun. I'm very excited. Now, animal product. I'm going to process... Oh, we have a meteor as well. I haven't got one of these bad boys in a long time. Oh, my first Osmium meteor. Oh, it's really pretty. Wait, I want to take a picture of it. Even though it's kind of hidden. It has like almost like crystals on it. It's pretty nice. We're cheering for you, Sarah. Thank you, Shannon. We're gonna. We're gonna. T you know what I'm gonna miss the most on this save? This right here. <laughs> 924 max stamina that I will probably never get back because I feel like I broke the game to get that. Not intentionally, it was just like. We weren't supposed to be able to get as many stamina fruits as I got, so that's okay though. That's okay. So I'm going to process like one of these and keep one and I want to see if it'll let me offer like a processed thing too or just the, the base product. We're going to find that out. I'll bring both to be safe. Because last time I played this festival, you guys, it was like not the, the main event wasn't a part of it. It was just, I mean, it was beautiful, but it wasn't fully complete. And I don't know that it is yet, but there's definitely more completed. I have 600 and will really miss it. I know, right? That's like a game changer. But if you have lots of money, you'll be able to buy like stamina replenishing foods earlier on. So that's kind of like a trade-off. Sell it. Sell it, Sarah. Just sell it all. Nuke everything. We're not going to do the full thing today, but if I get stuff, I feel like we should just be, like, selling a lot of it. Uh, so I'm keeping one of those. Just for the... The festival. So, vegetable... Okay, let's look at our produce. Don't look at my farm, though. <laughs> I think the hardest part is going to be actually taking down, 
like the decorations and stuff because I don't know. It just is, I think, but it's fine. It's not like that big of a deal. Uh, epic hello, apparently awesome hello. It's gonna be like mixed emotions, you guys, but it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so much better, I promise, to force reset. I promise you guys, trust me. Uh, Sapphire, hi, welcome in. It's like, I I'm with you guys. I get attached to things, including my digital farm. But with the way the game has changed, like it's gonna be so much better to go from the beginning and experience the flow of the game the way it's intended for full release, including all the cutscenes, the hard events for characters. Like, I promise you guys, it's gonna be so worth it. And then you keep that one, then you keep that save. That's gonna be your ultimate save, you guys. That's gonna be it. So you can really invest into that one. And I feel, I mean, I personally plan to play this game for like years and years to come. So I'm sure it won't be the only time I do a, a restart. Going to miss my museum. That's fair, that's fair. But to be honest, I was, I guess maybe because I've been playing for like over a year now, I was almost like, well, when full release comes out, like what about my museum? Like I really like collecting things. So I was kind of like almost disappointed to be almost completing my collections, to be honest. Maybe that's just because I like to make things difficult for myself, but that's how I was feeling. But I totally get the like, it does take a while to, to complete it. Okay, I need to look at that letter again. I need to clarify. Um, I need to clarify it was a vegetable. Party at the villa. Hang out with homies. We could try to go to that. <laughs> we could try to go to the hang out with homies. Uh, Kate, hello. Can we start a new save, says Kawaii? It's gonna be great. Kiki, hello, hello, welcome in. Beautiful goodbye to EA. Yeah, and I thought you guys, it was so sweet that Stairway did not need to open a separate branch for you to like say goodbye to your farm. They did not need to do that, but they're like so sweet and considerate. They know we're attached to our farm. So they're like, let's create a separate branch until like February, was it February 1st? So everyone can go like say goodbye to their farms. Like, I don't know, check on your layout, whatever you need to do. Like that is just so above and beyond of them. Um, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm overwhelmed. I actually have a lot to choose from. I do have, okay, I do have a lot of wine. I feel like I have to bring wine if they'll let me because Walter, I don't know how, I feel like somehow that will, <laughs> I, I know Walter's not a part of it, but he might be, we don't know. We don't know. Uh, let me check again here. Okay, I didn't see, maybe it's just cause it was earlier. Oh my gosh, there's so many letters. Do I need this many? Like I'm guessing it's registered earlier from like the first year. Mooncake recipe. <gasps> oh yeah, we have a special mooncake emote today, you guys. Because there's like, it, it used to actually be called the Mooncake Festival. And now it's called the Harvest Festival, which is a better fit. But it used to be called the Mooncake Festival. So mooncakes are today's special emote. Okay, well, I don't know where the letter went, but that's fine. I, I just wanted to, like, triple check that I knew what I was doing. But we have an animal product. I need a flower. Yeah, isn't it cute? Oh my gosh, look at the debris. I've never had this much debris on my farm <laughs> before. Can you tell I've been sleeping for, like, a season? I have flowers over here. Dora, hello. Uh... Did stop playing my save just because I'm going to wait. Yeah, you know, I think a lot of you guys too kind of... I Well, I heard a lot of you guys saying like, you know, I think I'm just going to wait for a bit now to play. Uh, wait for the full release or more updates or something. So it's probably all going to work out, you guys. It's going to work out. And if, I mean, don't also... Okay, what I would recommend if you guys are like not sure if you want to restart or keep your save, like the money, do, try to do both. So then you have an option. Like I'm going to be doing both. So I'm going to keep 
my money from this save and whatever else I make, you know, uh, from now to the reset. But I'm also going to do a ground up replay starting from the bottom, you know, so I'm going to do both. So I would suggest like do that if you want, like leave the option open for yourself, uh, because if you do overwrite the save, then you won't have that option later. So you might as well like, you know, keep options open for yourself. Giant stingray. I think I was supposed to donate that, but I don't think it matters anymore. So we're just going to sell it. Don't want to say goodbye to my farm, Carolina. That's fair. But your next farm will be better. It's like if you guys ever played Animal Crossing and redid your islands, it would be really hard to tear everything down. But like your next island would always be better because you'd have, you know, a different set of skills. You would have learned more uh, since the last time you designed it. You would have more items, like whatever it was. So it's going to be better. Your next farm is going to be better. Trust me. And if you want to recreate your layout, go in here and take some pictures, you guys, before you say goodbye. And then you can, you know, you can take an overhead shot. You can go to different areas and take some pictures. Oh my gosh, my grass? Okay, talk about spooky season. <laughs> Do you guys see that? Coral Island got the memo for- Oh my gosh, yes, my apple trees. I'm leaving those- I'm leaving those up there. That's to ward off Charles. Finally. Oh my gosh. I thought they would never grow. Look at we have water grass. Wow, that's crazy. That's kind of cool, actually. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Stefan, hello. Yeah, you guys might as well keep one, right? And then even if, like if you want to start from the ground up right away, you can do that. But just make sure you don't overwrite your... I would probably, to be safe, I might load up. Uh, we'll get more information about how it's going to work closer to. I've seen a lot of questions about like, wait, how I'm confused about the new game. Like, I only know what the team has shared with us so far. So once we know more, I will be sure to update you guys on like, make sure you're not going to overwrite your save and all that. We'll make sure that we're on, we know what we're doing before we get into it. Um, but yeah, I think that's a good idea because then you have the option to keep your money for one save, even if you want to like start over. Um, with a new one. Okay. So, did I get- I got the flower. Okay, so I have- I'm bringing this in case, but I have the- the wine. Um, my products are processing. I'm gonna bring both. Uh, the snowdrop is the flower. Then I needed a fruit and a vegetable. I wish I could read that letter again. I should have screenshotted it. You guys know I second guess myself. I'm pretty sure it was a fruit and a vegetable. Maverick, hello, hello. Also, if you guys have a lot of like specific questions about the latest news, I have a whole video that breaks it all down. So you guys don't have to read through uh, the developer blog. You can just watch the video and listen, put it on the background. That one just went up like, well, I guess technically that was earlier today um, or like late last night for me. So uh, you guys can check that out should answer most of your questions if it's not answered in that video it's probably because we don't have an answer uh like an official answer anyway okay i'm gonna grab a strawberry i'm gonna grab a vegetable Oh, you guys, we are so close to 100 likes. I think you guys could make that happen, like, right now. Because there's, like, 221 of you watching, and we have 98 likes. I think we could get to 100, like, snapping my fingers. I think we could do that. I believe in you guys. I appreciate it so much. Because guess what? If you like the stream, then more people can discover Coral Island, which means more people get to be blessed with this beautiful game, and discover a cozy community and be part of all the the good vibes thank you guys so much i appreciate the hundred likes we need hype in the chat for that we need some hype for you guys appreciate that so so much i told you you guys are the best i don't make stuff up oh no do i not you guys i don't have an osmium vegetable no i do i'm looking in the wrong oh my gosh i panic i i, I do i put my osmium over here because 
I turned them into juice. <laughs> oh my gosh, I panicked. I do have Osmium vegetables. Look at all that hype, you guys. You deserve it. Jane's hi. Welcome in. Nice to see you. Uh, Wyvern is hi, Arwen. In my head, I think I said hi to some of you guys as stream was loading in, which is not possible because I don't have my mic on, but I saw you guys chatting. Kaya, hi. Welcome in. Um, I don't remember what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I saw the question earlier. Nina number one. Marry Nina number one. Uh, then Raphael. That was the, the, I only let you guys vote on a poll because it was going to be my second marriage. <laughs> so <laughs> that's why we did that. I, and Nina's 100% number one. Okay, cauliflower. I think cauliflower is my highest value vegetable that I have right now. So we're going to go with that. Now, I think strawberry is actually my highest value. Right now, yeah, I think it is. I don't have like a osmium melon. I turned it into juice, but that's okay. Okay, so hold on, let me sell. Oh my gosh, my bug houses too. We gotta clear these out so we can make even more money <laughs> off of them. <laughs> Allie, hi. Tilapia, thank you for lurking. Enjoy your lurk and hello. Z uh, Xanthorus, hello. Kayla, hi. Annabelle, hello, hello. Welcome in, friends. And Becca with the five gifted memberships. Oh my gosh, get out of here. Thank you so much. We need gifts in the chat. Also, if you guys missed it, we got a gift emote. So that's what we do now. We do gifts in the chat for all those who are so kind and generous to give memberships. So we need gifts in the chat for Becca. The memberships went to Allie, Ray, Angel, Kiki, uh, as well as Kim. So you guys have access to the emotes. You can put gifts in the chat to say thank you to Becca. You can do that now, which is amazing. Thank you so, so much. All the love. I really appreciate that. I know everyone who is gifted does as well. I know that for a fact. Thank you. Thank you. All the love. Appreciate that. Uh, Larissa, hello. Welcome in. Okay. Looking good, you guys. Looking good. Let me organize this. So, fruit, vegetable, flower, coop product. Well, potentially will be the processed versions. And then we have these options. Which I think, I don't know, they might do it based off of... I'm hoping they do it based off of like a cell value and quality combined because then it's like it's wine by a long shot but I'm just bringing both in case I don't know if they have requirements about like what specific products we can we can bring so I'm gonna bring both to be prepared can't decide between Theo Scott or Waku first since Agung is off limits and Samir is out of the question until a later update Stephanie it's tough I'm always curious how many of you have like decided 100% you're like me or like Nina. You have like one person that you're like, I'm definitely marrying this person first. I feel like that it's more common to have like, like just a little less direction <laughs> because have you seen the characters? I am so grateful every time I play this game. I can't enter? I beg your pardon? Is it because of this grass? Is it because of my overgrown lot? Oh my gosh, don't show... Don't show this to Walter and Bree. My lot. They would love to see it overgrown. Okay, that's better. That's what it was. Um, I'm always grateful that Nina exists because if it weren't for Nina, I would be so lost because all the characters are so amazing. So yeah, I'm just always happy that I have Nina. Makes my life easier. Although, the princess, okay. Like, oof. That's another topic for another day. Jack says, I'm still deciding between Surya and Raj. More cutscenes might help me decide in 1.0. Yeah, you're going to get a lot more hard events, which will be... That might help you guys once you really get... Because if you've played... 
yeah, you've had some dialogue, you've had some events, but it's going to be different in 1.0. So you're going to really get immersed in the character's stories. It's going to be like, it's going to flow as well more seamlessly, like I've been, you know, saying for everything that includes the characters. So it might help you make up your mind. Okay, so this is going to be like my backup product. And I can process one of these. This other one. Oh my gosh, I hope I I hope we get yogurt makers back. <laughs> I hope you know what they they kind of like they had to reset the saves because just the stamina, I'm really thinking about that. Like it would be so unfair if some of us had like this crazy number of stamina, but not everyone could access that. I hope they're gonna bring back yogurt machines though, because I really like the yogurt machines. Oh, let's uh, add more food to our Oh look, we have emeralds. I should be using this too, just for extra money. Um, let's do red barrel. Let's do red barrel for max profit. Alyssa says, I think I'll go Waku first, then Mark and maybe Scott after until my sweet Samaru is available. I, the way I was reading, I was like, I think I'll go Waku, then Mark, then Scott, then, 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 and it just keeps going. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna try you guys to date everyone. Um, I'm gonna try, so we'll see. And I'm gonna try to eventually like marry everyone on different, I mean, I'm not gonna do like, Oh my gosh, there's so many save files though. I don't want to like keep divorcing, you know? Nina wedding dress, sleepy, I'm gonna lose it. I need to like not, I need to like, I'm gonna stay off the internet other than our streams for like a long time after the game's launch because I can't have, that's something I need to see on the day, you know? That can't be the one thing that gets spoiled for me because everything has gone so well. <laughs> so well this last year in terms of avoiding spoilers. I'm literally gonna probably stay off the internet. Like the whole month of November, maybe all of December, you guys will see me on the streams and that'll be it, okay? <laughs> Not gonna be snooping around because <laughs> I don't I don't want that spoiled. Um, Yeah, I would, if you guys haven't played Coral Island yet, I would just wait until the 1.0 release. Um, unless you for some reason want to make like money ahead of time, but I don't think it's going to be as effective to do that if you're just starting Because uh, it does take a little bit to like get things up and running and I think it makes sense to just have the full experience from From the beginning, but do know that the option is there So pe some people will be playing the full version with like lots of money Even more than what I have for sure because some people will be really hustling ahead of time um, Which is fair if you have the time to do it and you want to go for it uh, so as long as you're aware that that's an option you could also have access to now if you wanted to um, and are okay with not doing that, I would wait till the full release. Because it's about, it's about the grind in the beginning. It is. It's about starting from the bottom and building your way up and showing everyone that you can have the best farm on the island. Not Walter. That's what the whole game is about, right? <laughs> right? And Karen. Bad luck to see your wife in her dress before and anyway. Exactly, Alyssa. I need it to be like, oh. the Nina. The Nina wedding will also be Sarah's funeral. Sleepy, that's so funny. Divorce, let's play, Carlos. <laughs> divorce, let's play. A, a let's play series where I just marry and divorce everyone on the island. That would be so chaotic and so fun. Sophie, hi. Polyamory mod. I'm sure someone will make that. I'm sure there'll be tons of mods. Lynn, hi, nice to see you. Going Alice first, then Raphael. Some of you guys have decided. I love that. I love it. You need a plan. Or you either need a plan or you need to go in with like whatever happens, happens, and just enjoy the cutscenes, you know, and see what happens. Just go from there. Um, interesting question about the island hopping. I happen to notice. I didn't I didn't happen to notice it was anywhere to be found, right? I didn't see island hopping in their latest developer blog, so I don't know. I don't have an answer on that one. Trinity, hi, welcome in. 
Uh, I used to worry about my money in game, but later on I never run out. Annabelle, money comes so easy once you get like I've seen a I've seen a very popular opinion that it's really hard to earn money, and a lot of people have stopped playing because they think they can't earn money. And it's so interesting to me because I've never had that experience. And maybe I'll change my mind once I go like from the beginning, beginning. Um with the new build of the game. It it might be a bit tougher in the beginning. But I feel like, I don't know. I don't know what the expectation is for like a timeline to become a millionaire. Like, I don't think it should be like super easy to achieve. I think it should be like, cause then it's no fun. Then you have all this money and nothing to do with it. So I think it should be kind of about the journey. But it's just really interesting to me that it's such a popular uh, opinion is like, it's just so hard to earn money. You guys, if you, I, and I, I have lots of money making videos out already. Uh, some of them may be a little dated once the full version comes out. They still hold up even with some of the nerfs. There's still good ways of making money. Uh, just not as much for some of the tips. But I'll have more tips for you guys. Like, I, I got you guys. There'll always be a way to make money. I hope it's still a feature coming to the game for island hopping, says Jack. I know. I'm so confused, like, why it wasn't there. It is definitely a feature. It, it is 100%. It has to be because it was like a Kickstarter stretch goal. They have, I, they already have, wait, I wanted to come here to show this cute little display with the mooncake on it for the harvest festival. And I wanted to ask for some mooncakes in the chat, but now I'm thinking about island hopping. So we'll do that first, but I got to remember this island hopping note because there will be island hopping. I'm so certain, but... It, we might just have to wait like it might be like the last thing we get and that might be the way that they continue to update the game right we've talked about this from like oh my gosh almost three years ago now when it was first announced as a feature it's the perfect way for them to be like okay uh this month we're introducing frozen arctic island and then four months later they're like and now, coming to Coral Island, we have City Island, right? Like, it's a perfect way to keep expanding the game and to keep it thriving and active for, like, years to come if they want to do that, right? If they want to. So, I'm not worried about that, like, going anywhere. It's such a good feature for them to implement. The mooncakes look so delicious. I still want to try a mooncake, you guys. I haven't before. I don't have them readily available where I live, but I feel like maybe I could make them. One of you posted mooncakes that you guys made last year. They looked so good. Jack says it should be hard to earn money when you're starting a farm from scratch on a rundown island. I play games which are way harder to earn money too. Yeah, some games are very difficult and I think Coral Island does, in my opinion, strike a good, a good balance. I think you just have to like, and I think the thing is if you worry about that too much, then you're gonna be missing out on just the experience of enjoying the game, right? So don't fo try not to focus on that. Just enjoy day by day. It's not a race. Look at this! Oh my gosh, we're being blessed with all these lovely, lovely little moments here already. Peanut and butter hanging out. They are so, so cute. We need some peanuts in the chat. I, every time you guys, it never gets old. I'm like, Peanut is so small. The smallest little cat. And it shocks me every time I interact with Peanut, just how tiny Peanut is. So cute. So adorable. Look at them. Ugh, I love the island in fall so much. It's so pretty. It's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Look, Otako, hello. Miyu, hello. Opa, hello. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am still like... I'm still so hyped from yesterday. I, the hype is not going anywhere. Like, I'm on this... Ugh. I just can't believe the game is coming out this year in 1.0. I can't believe it. I really didn't think it would. I really didn't. I was saying this yesterday. I think like, I don't think any of us thought it was gonna come out this year. I think maybe we thought there was like a hairline of a possibility. It would make it in on the last day of the year, maybe if all the stars aligned. The team has been just doing so much and I am like, this is their first game? Like, I can't. I can't. I... It's incredible. This is going to be... This is going to be the best farm sim ever. Like, 
I always say this and I feel like I said it so early on because and it seemed crazy I almost I would say like one of the best and then I was saying the decade because I was like maybe of all time is too dramatic for a game that's still in early access like very first wave but I feel like even before the game was out I just had this feeling this was going to be like the farm sim to end all farm sims and I I I think that's just coming true in front of our eyes. So I'm really grateful we have this game and our community surrounding it, you guys. Like, if it weren't for this game, we wouldn't all be here together, which is just crazy. Why is this yogurt? <laughs> I don't remember the yogurt taking so long. <laughs> um, That's okay. If we don't have yogurt, I'll offer the milk. That'll be the thing that Bobby gets to uh, hop me on or something, but that's fine. Hope we can finally kick Pufferfish out in 1.0. Oh my gosh, I want more Pufferfish story. I want more Pufferfish story. I also want more Giant story, but I don't know if we're gonna get that because the Savannah, I, okay. If you don't know anything about the Giants, close your ears for a second. Um, I feel like the missing Giant is going to be found in the other biome potentially. So I don't know that we're gonna get like, that storyline continued right away i'm not sure don't know just putting it out there i'm not sure about that one would love to see more puffer fish i love that they have more story planned for the merfolk kingdom you guys did i expect that no i thought we like reached the ultimate with our transformation like i didn't know that we would be going further with like rebuilding the kingdom and stuff which they shared in the roadmap for 2024 and it wasn't just rebuilding the kingdom it was more storyline and storyline to rebuild the kingdom which is so cool Paige hello hello welcome in this game gives stardew a run for its money Marcus absolutely because like also okay for me I I do of course like stardew it's done a lot for the genre it's done so much for the genre it's a cozy game it's a great game it's a you can do so much with it right like it's a game you could just play and play and play. But like for me personally, these graphics, okay. N like no, com like I like pixel art. I prefer pixel art like, hmm. I'm trying to think of some of my favorite pixel art. Maybe like potion permit pixel art. Maybe like even Sunhaven is, is pretty good, but really like potion permit, um, sea of, sea of stars. That's the kind of pixel art I really like. So, these graphics on this game, like, I'm... And if you guys haven't played it, and you just watched, like, my streams, for example, when you play the game, and you see the actual graphics in-engine, especially in the rain, you're gonna lose your mind. The graphics in the rain, oh my gosh. The rain, when it's, like, there's light reflecting at night, oh my gosh, you guys are gonna lose your minds. It's crazy good. It's crazy good. I think the Pufferfish storyline will be bigger in the 1.0 version. Beth, I think it'll be expanded, I'm hoping. I don't know that it'll come to a conclusion. I think they might leave it open-ended for future updates. I don't know. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe we will send them away, send them packing, evict them. Can't wait for the next Animal Crossing? Me too, I'm excited for that too. One person versus a whole team, Alyssa. Good point. Good point. Stardew is, yeah, Stardew is made by one person. That is true. <laughs> but still for me, I just prefer like this graphic style to play like a lot of. If I play a lot of Stardew, I have to do it like handheld uh, for like my, my eyes. Because then when it's smaller on the like handheld screen, it's better than, for me, it's better than like a full screen. Um, Cisco says I'm playing this on PS5. Oh my gosh, wait, you get to play. You get to play! Finally! Cisco's been here for every single one of my Coral Island streams and other streams. Every single one of my streams, I'm pretty sure. Since Coral Island released, at least. Since this game came out, definitely for sure. And you haven't played yet. Like, I can never get over that. That you've been here for every stream and never picked up, been able to pick up the game. So, I'm so excited about that. Weird flex, but I can play on Game Pass. That's a good flex. That's a good flex. Uh, Wyvern says, I was an alpha tester and the rain at night was one of the first elements that made me certain the game was going to be amazing, not just good. I could see that, right? And the water. 
the way the water looks amazing 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 we have king tan hi oh, they showed so much in that trailer you guys i can't wait to do the breakdown after uh today's stream because i gotta get into that gotta get into that uh brooke thank you for the sub welcome in ocean hello so it's gonna be mia for a hot minute full immersion yeah like we don't want like i mean we want to see you of course always but like go play coral island my gosh when it releases you've been here like all the time this is so cute wait i don't i know we came here before but i don't remember this cute little swing i'm so curious where all this is going to go in 1.0 as well and they specifically highlighted where it's like you don't understand what's being said so i hope we'll be able to figure out what's being said uh in 1.0 and go from there. Would love a breakdown. Yeah, I'll I'll I don't know if I'll be able to get it up like tonight, depending on your time zone. It'll probably be like <laughs> it'll probably be one of those uploads that's like really late in the night my time, or like I don't know, depends where you live. But it will be up like in the next 24 hours. I'll say that for the trailer breakdown. I, I want to do a full, full, close breakdown, though, so I'm going to make sure I, I go through it all very closely. Not going to, like, rush it or anything. But I know I haven't done- I feel like I haven't done a breakdown video in so long, Jack. Like, because I didn't do- I didn't do a full trailer breakdown for the launch trailer for early access because it was many reasons but it was partly because i just like literally didn't have the time because they dropped the trailer like with the launch of the game and we were streaming like every day for the first like 10 to 12 days it was every day streaming and some of the streams were like eight hours oh my gosh i'm just running around here loving the island i didn't even notice the time let's get home let's get home But yeah, I was just like streaming so much and then I was also putting out daily Let's Play episodes and trying to put out tips, so I didn't have time to do a trailer breakdown. Um, just having some water. But I did do like things that you might have missed in the trailer at that time, but I haven't done a breakdown since like the earlier days, so I'm really excited to do that. Um, especially with like, I don't know how my channel has evolved. To do a new one uh shauna hi welcome in i know there's so many outfits marcus there were so many outfits for the player that i've never seen before like there was i was surprised to be honest i was surprised that there were so many things in the trailer that i've just never seen because we've played this game so much so that means either some of it i just haven't gone to yet or it's like actually well some of it is obviously like new stuff for 1.0 um, that's not in this build of the game, but yeah, it's it's really exciting you guys So we're gonna head to bed We're gonna do that 51k See you guys once you get into the game It's you just have to basically hang out and the money will be rolling in so look forward to this one day uh, Or now if you already are there. Can I please get some bling in the chat? 51k. Let's see what we sold some animal stuff the yogurt still goes under farming, which is fine. Uh, ranching. This was just from that meteor that dropped from the sky. <laughs> 3,000 right there. See, I know this was nerfed, but to me, it's still worth it. To me, it's still worth it to sell. Uh, those giant stingrays. Very nice, very nice. Those bug- see the bug- bug houses and the fish ponds are really good once you get like really good critters in there. They just are passive income. They just hang out. They just hang out and make you money and they don't even complain about it, which is one of the best parts. There's a lot of complaining around here sometimes with- we got Bobby now, we've got Leah, Walter. We got a lot of complaining on Coral Island, so the bugs, the fish, they don't complain. They just hang out. Same with the pets. Oh my gosh, you guys. I need to know- like i need i need to know so much more i need to like i need to interview someone 
Uh, looking at that roadmap for 2024, I have so many questions left unanswered. And it's like, they're, sh they're sharing more stuff in the roadmap that we didn't, like, this is what I'm saying, you guys, they keep adding more stuff. And it's like, so good, but it's like, that it leaves me unanswered questions from previous stuff. You know what I mean? Like things we haven't even, like, do we still get community projects? You know, do we still get that? I don't know. Zeri's hi, welcome in. I don't know, you guys. Thank you for the bling. It's so pretty. Chai, we're gonna have to part ways. She'll be a little sad, but we'll reunite. We'll reunite in 1.0. Elena, enjoy your lurk. Thank you for lurking. Stephanie says I need my fox cookie. That's cute. That's very cute. Okay, so what I wanted to talk about, you guys, the roadmap. Savannah Ranch Animals. Savannah Ranch Animals. Um, the ocean stuff. Ocean farming. Sorry, let me move. I'm getting really hype right now. Ocean farming and ranching. Ugh, I don't even know what to say. It is festival day. It is festival day today. It begins at 7 p.m., I think. Yes. Oh, look, they still call it, they still call it the Mooncake Festival here. Let's get some mooncakes in the chat. I need to get some mooncakes. I want to make some mooncakes, like, in the game. But I don't know that I have the stuff for that, to be honest. I could see if I do. I could check the recipe. Oh, and the fact, you guys, okay, again, close your ears. Oh my gosh, you probably just, if you, it's, it's hard not to talk about things that are spoilery. Because we've come so far, we're like over, we're a year into early access. We're like, I'm almost three years now into covering the game. Um, I was so surprised that they teased the transformation in the trailer. Because I wasn't sharing anything about that. Because I thought like, we're going to just let people discover that but they teased it but i like how they did it where it was like this could be a draw like if you if you notice it you could be like oh my gosh no way okay i'm definitely gonna play this game but it could also be something you don't notice or you're like not certain what exactly it is so they did it in a really good way i just didn't expect them to do that oh okay lotus any egg any flower okay well please don't use my duck egg in case I need it um let me put it somewhere Lynn says my supervisor approved my time off for the 14th let's go who's taking the 14th off who's using like PTO or like calling in sick or like <laughs> a, like vacation day like who's taking time off on that day I'm so curious I like I think if you can if it's within your your means and abilities to do so, I think you you should, if you can. If not, don't worry about it. Quran will still be there for you the next day or whatever day you have. So don't stress too much about that, but I think it's cool if you could. You've booked it off? You've booked it off? Uh, sleepy enjoy your lurk. Ellie, that's awesome. Might put that on my calendar, says Samantha. Jazzy Cat, hi. Loco Taco, you're taking it off too? Um, Alyssa says, I'm totally not planning on having a severe cold that day. <laughs> um, Ashley, hi, welcome in. I uh, didn't take it specifically off for the game, but I was really happy launch day falls on the day I've already requested off. Wyverness, that's so awesome. Mass worker shortages on the 14th. People are going to be like, what is going on? Is it like a international holiday? <laughs> already my day off, Ray. Nice. Hi, Ray. Gonna miss Susco from your streams when you restart. Oh, my... I know. I know. I'm, this is gonna be the saddest thing, is I'm gonna have to... We'll reunite once I get my town rank up. The chicken tote won't be available from the early game anymore. It was because it just... Everything was available at first. I don't know what rank it's locked behind. We're gonna find that out when we play. But it'll make it the reunion just so much better. So... It'll be fine. Almost never work on Tuesdays. Yeah, and I'm... <laughs> you guys, I know I didn't make sense in my video. I would... When I listened back, I realized I was a little... I was on Sarah. I was just 
going on one of my little flows that doesn't quite make sense. So I am fully aware that the, f I would just like to say this. I'm fully aware that the 14th is a Tuesday for everyone. What I meant when I was talking is that it could release not on the 14th for you. It could be like the 15th or the 13th, depending on what exact time they release the game. <laughs> So that's what I was trying to say in the video, just so you guys realize that in case you're confused about time zones. Cause like last time for early access, it I like actually got it like technically, it, I mean, you all get it at the same time, right? It, it launches at a time and you can all, you all can play. But for me, it was like the day before at like 5 p.m. my time. Whereas for other people, it was like the next day in their world. And it was like, morning or like whatever time right so it depends if it releases like you know midnight the beginning of that day uh like pt uh utc like it depends on the time zone right so i was just basically trying to say it could be a different day for you it could be monday it could be wednesday i didn't mean like you, the 14th could be a wednesday <laughs> but i realized how silly that sounds <laughs> Um, that's so funny. That's so funny, but yeah. Hope that clarifies it in case any of you were confused. It totally made sense in my head. I think I just skipped using a word when I was talking because I was so excited. I like put two sentences together. Okay, what am I doing? Oh, I'm locking away an egg. This bin is... I thought I locked it. Oh, it is locked. Okay, it is locked. So now... We could just in case I need the egg. Was there for the first ever live stream? Yeah, for me it was like 5 p.m. Which means. Could it have possibly been 5 p.m.? Wasn't that an eight hour stream? Did I stream till 1 a.m.? Did I do that? Maybe I'm making stuff up. I thought it was like an eight hour stream. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe that was like the second one. The, mo the mods would remember. The mods would remember. We had... Because you, you guys would remember. Yes, it was very late, Sarah. <laughs> I think it was... Well, I think I just had Cisco and Tansy at that time. It was an eight-hour stream. It didn't start till 3 a.m. for me, but I stayed up, says Jack. Oh my gosh. I know so many of you stayed up, like, so late. Cisco says, I don't remember. <laughs> you, like, blanked it out. That's fair. Maybe the mods would be the ones who wouldn't remember because it was probably... It was a lot. There was a lot going on. Okay, let me make this. Look, we have the stuff. Oh, they let you choose. I thought it was going to auto cook because before it did. Wait, that's so nice. That's new. At least it's new to me. And it makes two now. That's so nice. Kiki, hi. Johnny, hello. Nanumi, hi. So nice to see you all. My goodness. Welcome in. Um, Yeah, you guys 100% doing a launch stream the minute the game drops or as soon as I possibly can. Uh, Caitlin, I'm doing amazing. Thank you so much for asking. Oh my gosh. It's just like, I'm just so happy to be here. You know, <laughs> I'm just so happy to be here, you guys do that oh so so nice just the i haven't really cooked since they updated the uis it's so smooth we're making mooncakes you guys we're making mooncakes we need mooncakes in the chat they look so delicious have any of you had mooncakes before i have never like it looks like it's something i need to have in my lifetime you know they look so good Alyssa says, I can see it now. 5 a.m. stream all day. Whatever time, whatever time it releases at, I will be streaming it. Now, I don't know if I can stream it immediately because I might have to download stuff. I don't know. But so maybe it might be like an hour after it releases. I don't know. We'll see. But I'll let you guys know ahead of time so you can plan uh, for sure because it's going to be... It's going to be crazy, you guys. It's going to be the moment. I mean, we've had a lot of moments, but this is going to be like the moment. The moment. 
We're making more mooncakes! I wish I could make more. Actually, I could make more if I go get more lotus. Gosh, all the mooncakes. I love it. Haven't, but I hope to. Uh, you have one now? Oh my gosh. Just a casual mooncake? I think I just have one right now, actually. Wow. You're on brand. You're on theme. <laughs> You're on brand. You're on theme with the stream. It's like you knew. Let's hope we're all available for the 1.0 release hour. Oh my gosh. I hope it's like, I don't know what I hope it is because time zones, it could be like convenient or inconvenient, no matter which way it goes. But it's like a once in a lifetime thing. Coral Island's only gonna release fully once. Technically we got a, we got a bonus release with early access. So that was special. Okay, Eleanor, hi. This is why I forget you, Eleanor. E Eleanor is an NPC. Eleanor is an NPC. Uh, no more humidity. I have to use curlers on my hair now. Good thing I have short hair. Cool. Oh my gosh, the fall fits. I feel like I haven't really seen the fall fits a lot because we like kind of checked them out and then like we kind of we didn't have to move on but we did because there was like more stuff to check out the winter outfits you guys oh my gosh we saw some of the winter outfits in the trailer Leah's outfit looks so good finally <laughs> I haven't been a huge fan of Leah's outfits. They they fit her, but like I don't pers I wouldn't personally wear them, but I really like her winter one. Uh Lynn says my eyes will be glued waiting for the 1.0 release to drop. I know. I think that they'll tell us ahead of time. I hope. They did for early access. Oh, have you heard? There's a new boutique downtown. Everyone's talking about it. It's got a modern vibe. It might be worth a look if you're into that sort of thing. Downtown? Do we call Starlet Town downtown? This is an excellent spot for reading, isn't it? A lot of bugs, oh yeah, but it's totally worth it. Wearing long pants also helps. That and Suki's all natural bug repellent. Are you here to read too? I'm not, I'm here to collect lotuses for my mooncakes. Jack says, I just hope I won't be at work when it releases. Well, and you'll have to be, right? Cause you're starting a new job. <laughs> so you like have to go. Uh, Seabass, thank you for the sub, welcome in. Yeah, Leah's outfit is so cute. Raj looks so good. Waku's hair for winter? I know, right? I love that they did that with one of the characters. And we were we were tossing between we were tossing between silver and purple, I think. Is what we had come up with. So they went with one of them. Looking for lotuses. I'm so excited to do this harvest festival, you guys. Like, I can't even tell you. I wasn't planning on doing any of the festivals before the 1.0 version, like, a second time, but the trailer, I saw the trailer and I was like, yeah, we're doing that. <laughs> I need to. Annabelle says if it releases at 2 a.m., I will take a short sleep at 9 and wake up at 1. If you can do that, you can, like, nap ahead of time for sure. You guys, look at the foliage in this game. Look at the leaves. Look at it. It's so gorgeous. Perfect for a sip of coffee. Caitlin says, I managed to convince my younger brother to play Coral Island. Unfortunately, we're both going to fight each other for Miranjani. Oh my gosh, I love that, Caitlin. I love that. Oh, and I know it's down the line, but multiplayer is going to be so incredible. I just get so excited thinking, oh, I, island hopping. I want it to return to a thought about island hopping. So over here, oh, you can't really see it from here. You can see it better on, on the farm, but there's like basically a secret beach over here. Oh wait, we can see if I look in the, maybe we can see if I look over here. Barbara, hello, hello. Uh, Morgan, hi, so excited for the release. I'm in the process of processing and selling everything and catching the last of the fish before the reset. You got this. See, you know what else? This is just the way I am in life, and you guys probably know this by now if you spend a lot of time with me. Having, like, the chance to 
create an event out of something or celebrate something is always exciting to me. So like, would we have ever had the liquidation process, like the opportunity to do that if it weren't for the reset? Like, yeah, you could have like torn down your whole farm. You could have sold everything for fun, but how many of us were actually gonna do that? So now because of this reset, we get to make like a, a, an event out of it. We get to make like a fun activity where like a challenge almost where we, you know, collect as much as we can or sell everything or whatever you, you however you want to do it. Right. Tear down your farm like we probably never would have done that otherwise. So I'm all about having experiences in life. And I just think this is like something really fun to do. And I'm excited to do it with you guys. I'm going to do that on stream with you guys. Um, it's going to be so fun. We wouldn't have done. I wouldn't have done that otherwise. So Simon, hello, hello. Um, yeah, so this is like the secret beach you can access from your farm, uh, which we can't access right now, but I think this is where island hopping is going to be. I think this is where we're gonna, you know, get our boat and island hop. So I don't think that's like out of the question now. I just don't know why it wasn't on the roadmap. Maybe they don't want to set our expectations for it to arrive next year. It could be like, they might realize like, okay, we actually have a lot more we want to do with what we have in the game right now, like in terms of the Merfolk Kingdom and the other biome, right? Because those are like more immediately in the game. They're like on this map. So they might want to flesh those out even more before they like add island hopping, you know? I think that makes sense. Annabelle with the six months. Cheers to six months, Annabelle. Thank you so much. We need citrines in the chat for Annabelle, please and thank you. I love how your content makes my day and sleep better. That is so sweet. I, I appreciate that. I'm so glad too. If any of you guys fall asleep to my content, I love that. It makes me happy that you feel so comfy to do that. Uh, all the love, Annabelle. Appreciate you. Six months. Did you know that is half a year? Did you know that is half a year? Jack says, I'm okay with them giving us more content into 2025 and maybe beyond. Yeah, because the thing is, like, their plans have changed so much, you guys, along the course of development. And just looking at the features in the 2024 roadmap with, like, well, like, ocean farming and ranching. Uh, Mira, thank you for the sub. Welcome in. Uh, also, the Savannah biome ranching. Like, those are things I don't think they originally planned. So, I can see where they're going with it, where they're like, okay, we already have the Merfolk Kingdom and we're building off of that we're already going to be introducing this new biome and building off of that instead of like kind of half doing these features and just leaving them at good enough why don't we add even more make those realms of the game as good as they can be add the ocean ranching add the ocean farming who knows what else more story more <laughs> now i keep hearing more passion more energy more footwork <laughs> But add all that stuff and same for the savannah biome and then move on to island hopping like the next year Like I I think that makes perfect sense you guys. I can see where if that's where they're going with it I could I could understand that for sure Okay, I got one more lotus there should be some up here uh, Lilo hello If the datables could marry each other, I hope there's going to be a mod to like match make one day. Because, oh my gosh, look. This tree in the fall is so pretty. There's so many of the characters like I want them to get together. Uh, Angel, take care. Thanks for hanging out. So yeah, I, I would love that. I forgot you guys, these, these fall fits are so good. I have not appreciated them enough. Like, they're spring fits we see all the time. I feel like I've spent a bit more time with, like, the summer fits, too. But the fall were, like, the most recent. And... Oh, my gosh. They're just so good. Like, look at Zara. She's gorgeous. And the, the purple sunglasses mixed with, like, the green. It looks so good. Looks so good. Uh, I've observed you diving in and out these days, and everything goes better? What do you mean? Oh, oh, because I've been diving. Just everything's getting better. Oh, wait, she's acknowledging that? That's so nice. Alice and Noah together? Yes, my top ship is Luke and Yuri. That's my, t that's my top ship that I would personally like to see. 
I don't, I'd love to hear your guys' ideas, though. Cherry says, I just want Brie to divorce Walter. <laughs> Honestly, same. But we gotta, we gotta see the story through first, okay? We gotta see the story through. I assume you're behind the Roots' disappearance, too, aside from the fishes and everything, so well done. I have to say, I like my privacy. I mostly keep busy on the island, so it doesn't leave me much time to socialize. That's okay. Oh, I forgot about my date with Scott. <laughs> well, that's okay. I'm just looking for lotuses. Uh, Firanth, hello. Yeah, Zara's so cute. I really like- I think Zara could be a marriage candidate for me. I just... Well, if you haven't seen my ranking video, I explained it all there. <laughs> look at them! Look at the little guys! Oh my gosh. Did we decide they're otters? I don't remember what we decided. I love Zara. I do. Yeah, she needs some cutscenes. It's hard to connect with her without those, Dora. <gasps> oh, this is so cute! Look at this! gone traveling oh i love that and now people won't be like where's ben because if you don't know like a lot of us just know that he goes away but if you don't know you could be like where's the van oh i love that be back soon that's so cute oh, and suki's fall fit is gorgeous oh my gosh you guys zara's boathouse i know like i'll move in there i'll move in there they look like beavers. They do kind of look like beavers, but they, they look like a mix between beavers and otters <laughs> to me. <laughs> like, they don't exactly look like either animal exactly. Isn't her fit so good? You guys, I'm starting to think we only looked at the fits in the beta. I don't know if I've actually seen the fits in my main save. I think I've seen less of the roots lately, but now they're all gone. I can already see more visitors coming here and booking a room. And we will have the tourist system, which is going to be so great. I'm just here to pick up some fresh irises for the inn. Oh yeah, there's still the little garden shop here. That's nice. Fun bucket needs to see the world, right? Oh, little fun bucket. Okay, we have to make sure we have to make sure it doesn't go past 7 p.m and we have to make sure i get a snack irl before that i need a like a banana or something so those are my two conditions moving forward with the stream <gasps> oh my gosh i forgot i forgot about her blue fit sarah the roots around here are finally gone Look at her just chilling, just hanging out. I love Suki's scarf too. Like, I want that scarf, Shannon. Surely people will be chilling around here more than before, right? I think so. So good. I forgot how pretty Coral Island is in autumn. It's just so picturesque with all the falling leaves. I know, autumn? Oh, I'm so excited to see the new, like, winter though, you guys. Because I'm pretty sure I've seen in like the dev diaries that they're working on textures and stuff for, for the winter. I already think, and they, they, you know, they said them from the beginning that winter is like super unpolished and part in the dust. I think it looks great, but I'm excited to see like the new winter. Ah, so good. Also, oh my gosh, you guys, I have not, I was supposed to go to my P.O. box like yesterday or yeah, yesterday, <laughs> but with all this, the, the, the news, I did not get to go. I will be going soon. I promise. I know there's stuff there for me. Thank you so, so much to whoever, uh, sent me whatever it was, letters, packages. I'm not sure. I, cause I haven't gone to check, but thank you so, so much. I promise I'm going very soon. I just oh my gosh the day i planned to go coral island was like well let's change the world today <laughs> so thank you seriously you guys i'm so excited i love getting mail from you guys wait 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 what why, why am i even talking to walter today why are we even doing this um mara hello hello 
I can think of some reasons why giants like pufferfish want in. You know what, Walter? Expose yourself. Tell us. But I don't think the townies are ready to hear them yet. Uh, can we get some sus chickens in the chat for Walter? Yawns? Ugh! Are you bored? Are you bored, Walter? It's hard to focus on anything here. The house is too relaxing. It's a good thing, I hope, because this house is anything but cheap. Sus chickens for Walter. Yep. <laughs> Can we evict Walter with pufferfish, please? Walter's on my eviction list. It takes a lot to get there. You guys know I'm very, um... Benefit of the doubt. I'm very, like... Second, third, fourth chances. Speaking of... Joko's gotta be careful, too. Thin ice, my guy. Thin ice. Walter lost my vote the minute he started messing with Luke's shop. Right? Like, what? I, I'm, you know what? I will see the stories through for all the characters, you guys, right? And then we'll do our final be-all, end-all ranking for all the characters. But right now, evict Walter. Joko is like, you know, I need to see some, some, I don't know. I don't know what I need to see from Joko, but I need to see something. Me and Dinda came up with some new furniture designs thanks to the new distributors coming in. If you're interested, Dinda, I don't want to buy anything from you, Joko, right now. I'm all for supporting local businesses, but I'm also all for supporting your, your family members. So, when you do that, maybe I'll make a purchase again. Until then, I'm boycotting <laughs> the carpenters. <laughs> Carlos, thank you for lurking. Uh, and Jacob, hello. Oh, and Taco's here. Oh my gosh, we almost missed Taco. We can't miss Taco. Taco! We need Taco's in the chat. Taco's in the chat. Luke takes a great care of Taco. You can tell. You know what, Luke? I, I know Luke does. I know it's Luke taking care of Taco. So cute. He looks always so happy. Just so delightful. Vovi, hi. Welcome in. Oh my gosh. Taco's just the best boy. And he makes me just beam with joy raven raven hi i see you yeah we love taco and too many days where we didn't see taco my gosh he went missing for a minute his claws are short luke must have just groomed him oh he just had a claw trimming so cute look at him look at that tail i want to i aspire to be like taco in life <laughs> <laughs> I sure do. Okay, I think you guys, since we just got to see Taco, where can I? Oh! <gasps> I'm gonna go get a banana. I was just gonna say, I'm, I want, I don't wanna get a banana right now, but I'm going to, because I literally just saw not just Bobby, I saw another character. Okay. I saw another character, you guys. I saw Jeff Smith, I think. I think. Okay, I need to go get- I need to eat. I need to eat before I meet Jeff. I'm gonna be a mess if I don't, so... Sorry to leave it on a cliffhanger, you guys, but I'm just gonna take a quick break to go get some more water and a banana. And I'll meet you back here to meet the one and only Jeff Smith. It looks like to attend the Harvest Festival, all that good stuff, so don't go too far, but use the break so you don't miss a thing. Get whatever you need. Get a drink, get a snack, get a blanket. Uh, Literally, you guys, you don't want to miss this because I, well, I don't want to miss this. I'll be right back, you guys. Seriously, five minutes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'll be right back.
all right welcome back everyone or welcome in if you're just joining and oh my goodness oh my goodness what is going on i hear alerts hold on oh my gosh cisco cisco with the 10 gifted memberships thank you so much oh my gosh we need gifts in the chat you guys are on it uh, 10 of you are just gifted memberships courtesy of Cisco, so you'll have access to the exclusive member emotes for an entire month. That's amazing. Enjoy them. Love them. Use them as much as you would like. Cisco, thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. Everyone enjoy. Welcome into the Gemstone family. So lovely. Andrea, hello. Cinderella, hello. Seabass, welcome in. So nice. Oh my gosh. I also wanted to say, you guys, make sure... Just kidding. <laughs> Hold that thought. Angel Kitty with the Citrine membership. Thank you so much. Uh, welcome into the Gemstone family as well. Enjoy the emotes. We need Citrines in the chat for Angel Kitty. Please and thank you. Welcome in. Welcome in. So lovely. I appreciate the support. Thank you so much. I hope you love the emotes as much as I do. Okay, let's get some... I want to move forward in our soundtrack here. And, oh, I wanted to remind you guys, please make sure you get your orders in uh, for the spooky collection if you want anything. Uh, we have stickers, uh, sweaters, if you want to match with me, because I've been living in my forbidden jello and ghost sweater like every single day, you guys. The ghost one glows in the dark too, and it glows bright. It's really cool. So make sure you get your orders in. That's available until uh, October 31st. So please make sure you don't miss out on that if you wanted something. I'm so excited I already match with a lot of you guys. We already match. And there's a good chance we're actually matching because like I said, I alternate day to day. So it's one day or the one day I'm wearing the jello, one day I'm wearing the ghost. <laughs> and you can't get them off of me. I love them. Okay, wait, we have to pause again because oh my gosh, Paul. Paul with the seven months? Lucky number seven. We need sunstones in the chat for Paul, please, and thank you. Uh, we up to the seven months. Just want to say that this channel is so great. It's like I have become a part of a huge family. Thank you so much to all of chat, Sarah, and mods. Uh, heading for my turtle badge eventually. Oh my gosh, you'll get there. You'll get there. The, tur I, the turtle badge. That's a, that's, that's a badge. <laughs> that's a badge for sure. Paul, thank you so much. Welcome in also. My goodness. Thank you so much for being a member for seven months and for all of your support. I appreciate it so, so much. Uh, lots of love. Lucky number seven. So many lucky numbers. I love it. It feels like just yesterday, Paul. It feels like just yesterday. Kawaii, take care. Have a really good sleep. See you again soon. Okay, you guys. Did I cover everything? We got the thanks. We got the welcomes. We got the merch. Uh, oh, and I also want to say thank you so much for all of your orders. Of course. Thank you so much, you guys. Appreciate it so much. Thank you for supporting not just me, right? But also a small artist, so means a lot. Okay. Oh, there is a turtle badge. There is a turtle badge. It's just a, it's quite the achievement. <laughs> okay, I don't think I want to talk to Bobby here, but I think I have to because we have to. Jacob with the five. Jacob, thank you so much. Can we please get hearts in the chat for Jacob? Couldn't find the join button, but thanks for all the tip videos for Coral Island. As I was typing this, Cisco gave me a membership. Thanks, Cisco. Aw, that's so awesome. Well, enjoy the emotes. Uh, sometimes you can't find the join button if you're on like mobile. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. YouTube's really inconsistent with that, so you might have to do it on desktop, but Regardless, thank you so, so much uh, for your contribution. Um, and I'm so glad you love the tip videos. Uh, there'll be tons more to come. I've just kind of simmered down on them right now because I don't want them to get too dated, you know, with the 1.0 now around the corner. Uh, Mr. Kayo, thank you for the sub. Welcome in. Uh, even before, you know, as we were kind of getting all these updates, I was kind of like, well, maybe we'll hold off on some of these so I can give you guys guides and tips that'll last for like ever or for a long, a long time. So thank you for that. I really appreciate that. And again, enjoy the emotes. Uh, Cherry says, I've just realized my next month is 14 months. I hope I get it around the 14th. That would be crazy, Cherry. That would be so crazy. That's so cool. Bobby says, I love the snow and all, but don't you think winter lasts a little too long around here? I miss the... Why are you talking like you live here? You better not. I miss the warm beach. Well... Then go back to, where are you from? Beluga Bay? Ugh! 
Oh yeah, Sam? I don't like reading Bobby's dialogue out loud. <laughs> go back to the beach then buddy right natasha natasha with the gifted membership thank you so much natasha can we please get some gifts in the chat for natasha uh the membership went to stefan so you now have access to emotes for an entire month courtesy of natasha enjoy them thank you so much that's so sweet of you that's so sweet of you i know i don't even want to read it I don't even want to read it. Thank you for the distraction, Natasha. <laughs> Thank you for helping me stall. Bobby says, oh yeah, Sam? I think daddy knows him and his dad too or something. I've just read it like a robot. That works, right? Just read it like a robot. Okay, good, he's done talking, okay. But you guys, also wait, we Eva's outfit though? I'm gonna lose it. Eva says the beach looks so much cleaner now. I'm glad the roots can actually be removed from here. Look at her fit, it is so precious. Then leave, go back to the beach, there's the door. Bobby sounds like a snooty 10 year old cherry. So true. Papa Squat says, hold on a minute while I go throw up. Literally, like I can't believe he threw up at us. Like, although it makes perfect sense because we would probably be super icky to him if he's the way he is. She looks so cute, right, Cisco? She looks so cute. Look at her. Are you foraging for wild mushrooms too? Oh my gosh, so precious. Okay, you guys. <laughs> if you guys are watching the replay, please make sure your chat replay is on. It is m more than half the fun. And hi to you time travelers watching the replay also shout out to the lurkers oh my gosh you guys i'm gonna freak out what if it's not though what if it's not and i'm okay it doesn't matter just oh my gosh it is he's real are you foraging for wild mushrooms too uh i mean i was wow i was just asked that I guess, I guess I should be, maybe. You guys, it is Jeff Smith. He has a portrait and everything. He's a character, not just on the TV. It's like we're meeting a celebrity, you guys. Oh my gosh, we're meeting a celebrity. Hi, Big Sprout. <laughs> I love that he calls us Sprouts. I don't know why I like Jeff Smith so much. I just really like Jeff Smith, you guys. And I hope that doesn't change today. If it does, you know what? Change is the only constant in life, so that's okay. Papa Squat also with the gifted membership. Thank you so, so much. We need gifts in the chat for Papa Squat, please, and thank you. Uh, the membership went to Andrea, so you now have access to the exclusive emotes for an entire month, courtesy of Papa Squat. Enjoy them, love them, use them. Thank you so, so much. That's so sweet of you. So kind, so sweet. I appreciate it. Wait, that's it? Wait. Talk to me more. Okay, I'll go foraging for wild mushrooms. I was hoping he'd have as much dialogue as Bobby. Or more. But that's okay. Did you change your mind? Can you talk to me again? He's just looking at this. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. He's here now. Oh my gosh, it's so little. <laughs> Why is it so little? No portrait for... No portrait for Bobby? Okay, that's good. Don't have to look at him. Will we finally have the library in 1.0? Cherry, I know, right? These are the, these are the good questions. You know? Oh my gosh, Sam. I forgot about Sam's hat. Sam, apparently you know Bobby. The store has got some new seeds in stock. You taking a look yet? I sure would if I were in your shoes. See, this is why I can't be friends with Sam. Like, that's the best price I can give you. Take it or leave it. Business, business, business. It's always about business with Sam right now for me i was hoping there'd be more too barbara 
but that's okay. Maybe at the festival. I'm just excited he's here. You know? You call Bonbon bon a cute ball of fur? You are a cute ball of fur. He seems happy with the nickname. Well, that's good. Oh, more. Bonbon bon is one adventurous pup. You see him everywhere. I still really want to know if he's friends with Taco. Yuri. I love that card again. Zeri's with the five gifted memberships. Oh my gosh, you guys. Zeri's, thank you so much. We need gifts in the chat for Zeri's, please. And thank you. The memberships went to Johnny, uh, XJ, Awesome Goku, Cosme, uh, Cosme Yuki, and Poroda. So all five of you now have access to the emotes as well. So many more of you getting access to the emotes today, which is so lovely. It warms my heart. Zeri's, thank you so, so much for that. That's so kind of you. So kind of you. You guys are so kind in this community. Like, it's crazy how kind you are. You guys are, like, spreading the love. The emote love. I, I love it so much. Thank you, Zeri's. Uh, Jack mentioned we've got Luox on the island. Pretty cool, right? I think I'll check him out next week. You? Do you have another cardigan? I really want this cardigan. Probably did not get that at Wabanana. Or White Flamingo. I think tonight's dinner is going to be curry. Seems like the right weather for it. Okay. Oh my gosh, everyone's here. I feel like I'm seeing them all for the first time again just because I don't like... I don't... I, like I said, I haven't had a lot of exposure to the outfits. So they still feel like newer to me. Jack! Jack with the gifted membership as well. Jack, thank you so much. We're just having a... a shower of gifts here in the chat we need gifts for jack uh the membership went to brian brian enjoy your emotes jack thank you so much and paul also thank you so much for gifting 20 memberships what did i say about a shower of gifts we need all sorts of gifts in the chat uh also for paul please and thank you check to see you might have got one 20 just went out, so there's a high chance if you're opted in that you were gifted a membership, courtesy of Paul. So, Paul, thank you so much. I appreciate that so much. Jack, thank you so much. I appreciate that so much. You guys are so sweet. My gosh. I don't know what we're... I... Mm? You guys, my emotions are all over the place lately with these announcements. You're gonna... <laughs> You're gonna get me all... Yeah, you know what? Do that. That was therapeutic. Jane says, no, Gray in chat. You guys are so sweet. Seriously, thank you for all of your kindness and generosity and for sharing the love with so many. I really appreciate it. And welcoming everyone who has been gifted a membership. Please make sure I sometimes forget to say this but please make sure that if you are on our discord server and you were gifted a membership or if you signed up yourself today um please connect your discord and your youtube accounts because you're gonna unlock so many channels um they're available to all tiers of membership so but there's gonna be so many new ones for you on discord if you link your account so please do that that's where we talk about a lot of like coral island stuff and like there's extra ones like there's lots of extra channels there uh if you're a member so please link the account if you would like. And if you would like to upgrade, uh, to check out if you've ever been like, what are the member streams like? What is this gaming after coffee podcast that Sarah talks about? What are these things? Because you were gifted today, you could just upgrade for a couple dollars if you wanted to check it out. If you wanted to, you could upgrade for a couple dollars and you could literally watch all of <laughs> the 40 plus member stream replays. You could binge watch them. You could go through all the episodes of Gaming After Coffee. You could binge those. Uh, just lots of content. If you need more content, I got you. So that's an option. It's available to you if you'd like. But of course, no pressure. It's just I want you guys to know about that because it's a good opportunity to check it out if, you, if you're curious. I love the mayor's hats too. Like, I love the hats so much. Just so, such a nice touch for the character. Uh, thank you again so, so much, you guys. Seriously. Papa Squad says, let's just say the member streams are so good I stayed up till 4 a.m. <laughs> I can't believe you stayed up the whole... I can't believe that. I really can't. Like, yeah, I should go to bed. It's like 4 a.m. 
It's 4 a.m. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm glad though. I'm glad it's so fun. Uh, the roots around our island are gone. Superbly done. This is where we have to go at 7 p.m. for the festival. Oh, she's got a nice scarf too. I want to say I'm, a, I'm surprised Pufferfish moved in, but I'm not. Life is unfair sometimes. Can we like move forward, Emily? Like we got to get rid of them. We got to focus on taking action. <laughs> I was determined. Yeah, I was determined too. You and I both. So happy you opened my eyes to the wonderful world of Coral Island, Johnny. That's amazing. I'm so glad too. I'm so glad so many of you have discovered this game. You all deserve to play this, like 100%. I filled a basket full of wild fruit and flowers. There were plenty near the shrine over there. Oh, Emily likes to forage. You guys, when I saw the, the temple in the trailer, I started tearing up so, so intensely. <laughs> like instant tears activated. I was so emotional. I was trying not to like fully cry too much in my reaction because I didn't like, I didn't want to be just a mess, but like, oh my gosh, I look at it in the fall though. <gasps> oh, it looks so good because we, this is new, but I haven't seen it in the fall season like this. It is gorgeous. Cherry, you want Emily's scarf? I kind of want like almost all the characters fits. Amy, hi. Uh, Rachel, welcome in. Yeah, I'm so glad you guys have discovered this game and our delightful community. Like, I feel so blessed. So grateful. Okay, look, you guys. When they showed this and, like, the evolution of the temple in the, the trailer. Oh my gosh, waterworks. I don't know why it makes me so emotional. Like, I watched the trailer back, like, two more times after the reaction. And both times I just instantly was, like, crying. Like... I, I don't know. I feel like we've just come so far with this game. I don't know, you guys. It's more than just the game, too, right? It's more than just the game. Except for Walter. Walter can keep his fit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a decent fit, but he doesn't need to know that I think that. And I don't want his fit. I'm so curious about this tree. this specific one like I wonder if this is on purpose and if it's connected to something we haven't restored yet blossom with a sunstone membership thank you so much I would love to know how many I don't know why YouTube isn't telling me how many months it is but we do need sunstones in the chat for blossom please and thank you I'm not, I know I should be seeing a certain number of months, but I'm, YouTube's not showing me, so I apologize for that. But thank you for all the months of membership. I really appreciate your support so much, Blossom. Thank you so, so much. You guys, I am sending you all, all of the love that exists in the world, okay? Please know that. Thank you, Blossom. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Cherry says, gaming after coffee, it feels like sitting with Sarah and drinking tea or coffee. I feel like, oh, Paul says, that's, I did that for a week when I first joined. You binge the member replays and the podcast. Gaming after coffee is awesome. You get to sit in chairs and talk to Sarah for an hour or so. Yeah, totally. I totally feel like um, when I record my episodes of gaming after coffee, I literally feel like I'm just hanging out with you guys and like catching up with a friend, you know? That's what it feels like. 100% and it feels like you guys are like there with me. So it's really really wholesome Look at her. look at her fit. It's so good. It's so good Chloe hi Everyone told me the weird roots are gone. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I'll go with good You know Brie came from a big city just like you she had a fancy modeling job right before she married Walter Tell me more she said it was love at first sight. I don't remember exactly how they met, but she told me it was some kind of work event. Do you buy this chat? Love at first sight? Do you buy that? Faces Gaming After Coffee is the best podcast. True, authentic, wholesome vibes, including background struggles. Mm. Struggles real sometimes. You gotta know the tea. I gotta share the tea with you guys. Faye, I'm glad you enjoy it. I'm glad you enjoy it. I would call it... 
I wouldn't call it struggles though. I would call it an adventure. I would call it background adventures. <laughs> um, no, we don't buy this. Love at first sight. I don't remember exactly how they met, but she told me a work event. I don't know what work event, Sarah. I'm not a nosy person. Okay, that's a lie. Okay, so Erica lies. Confirmed, Erica's a liar. <laughs> I love the sus chickens in the chat. <laughs> I love the sus chickens. Only love at first something I believe in is love at first bite with food, says Alexander. Love at first sight of his wallet, says Sapphire. Ooh, good one. The journey, Faye, I like that, the journey. I mean, occasional struggle for sure. <laughs> for sure, to be real. Oh my gosh, Emma's fit is so good. I forgot, you guys, I feel like I'm seeing these for the first time again. This is so, I'm so glad we're doing this. I'm so glad we're doing this. We were all young once. It could have happened that way. It could have, Beth. I, yeah, Walter could have been a charmer, right? That museum is, is that museum, oh, guess, you're gonna tell me it's bigger than you thought it was gonna be. I really wanna know more about Emma, but she's always saying the same stuff. So I'm excited for 1.0. I don't remember. I must have seen Zoe's outfit. I do not remember this one. No roots, the fishies must be happier now. I genuinely don't remember this fit. I found a spider in my room yesterday, but I let him stay there. Fall is supposed to be a spooky time of year anyway. It is. It's freaking bats. I love Halloween. It is. Zoe's on board. Randy. Uh, so perfect. Of all my years living here, I never would have thought an oil company would ever move here. What should we do? I don't know. Figure it out. I'm in this by myself right now, so. <laughs> Spiffy, hi. Not an occasional struggle, it's artisanal struggle. I like that. And the lie detector determined that was indeed a lie. You guys are so funny. Need a picture of chat above my microphone so I can talk to us while I record gaming after coffee. I just print out the chat. I wish I could get, oh my gosh, it's five. Okay, we're getting close to the Harvest Festival. I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. I sometimes wish I could like print out little snapshots of chat. I probably could actually. Cause some, but there's too much, like how do I narrow it down? How do I narrow it down? Wish I could dress like, Randy has like quite the fit, hey? Oh, do you need help? Are you stuck? This sweater, wait, remember? The matching fits? Okay, wait, hold on. Emma doesn't seem to like the new office that much. Thought it would be good for business, but maybe not. I don't know. Is Dippa talking about like an office that they created for their home, like for Emma? Or is Dippa talking about the Pufferfish office? I always thought they were talking about like their own office, but I don't know that I've seen an office at their place and why doesn't Emma like it Haley Haley with the Emerald membership thank you so so much for the support we need emeralds in the chat please and thank you for Haley welcome into the gemstone family enjoy the emotes enjoy all the content that I've just been talking about that you'll get to binge now so many stream replays so many episodes of gaming after coffee and it'll be so nice to have you for future member streams uh we are doing a couple more halloween spooky themed ones for the next two weeks for this month but then after that it's always something new we do coral island sometimes we do multiplayer games we do all sorts of stuff so it'll just be so delightful to have you join i really appreciate the support thank you so so much and welcome in welcome in this weekend we're playing <laughs> five nights at freddy's so that's gonna be fun See, look, I gotta show you guys this. If you if you haven't seen or if you forget, look at they have like matching sweaters. It's so cute. It's so cute. I have to I have to learn more as I continue to get to know the characters. Mostly, it I feel like it's mostly gonna happen now in like 
I'm at that point. I'm at that point. <gasps> Hi. So many of the characters have these like neck scarfs. Like, well, of course, scarfs are. But you know what I mean? Like, not like the. What do we call these? Like, not the regular, like, big warm scarfs, but like these little ties. I love that it's such a, a theme on the island. Uh, Faye, hello. Key, hi, welcome in. A kerchief. That. <laughs> Key with the 12 months. You got the flamingo. Let's go. Oh my gosh, you made it to your floaty. I hope you enjoy lounging on it. We need some amethyst in the chat for Key, please, and thank you. That's a whole year of supporting me. I my gosh don't know what to say other than thank you so so much enjoy your flamingo floaty i hope it's comfy i hope it's i hope it floats <laughs> they do they definitely float they definitely float for sure look at all those pretty amethysts oh my gosh i love seeing the new crystals too you guys they look so good a year wow i can't i really can't believe that's been a year key thank you so much Oh my gosh, 6 p.m.? Let me in. Let me in. Okay, we have to wait. The, the fly was allowed in. I was the fly allowed in and I wasn't. That's not fair. They remind me of Fred from Scooby-Doo. Oh my gosh, so true. You're so right. <gasps> Sorry. Yeah. Okay, you guys. <laughs> okay, I don't know how to say this Because can I go in wait, why are you in there come out? So like Surya for me was like number one bestie and then I saw the trailer the new one and I thought like I don't know <laughs> I don't know what I thought but I thought maybe Surya's not going to stay in the friend zone. I don't know, you guys. Did you see that scene, though? Oh, my gosh. Crazy. Oh, Paula's so sweet. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. I don't know how... There you are. Hi. We are just talking about you. You're in the new trailer. I don't know if you knew that. You're kind of, like, a big deal right now. An ascot? A cravat? All of the above? The thing? It was so romantic, right? Jerry, I was hoping that there would be like just something like a date or an event of some sort on that little sandbar. I remember in one of the very early episodes of the Everything Coral Island podcast, a little throwback there, I know Red and I were talking about like how we just wished there would be a sandbar. <laughs> It was like we were on that level of speculation and like just coming up with ideas. We we're like, I hope there's a sandbar <laughs> and I hope you can like have a romantic event on it or like a date or something or a wedding. We just wanted a sandbar. <laughs> and then there was a sandbar and now there's confirmed to be an event on it, which is cool. Ling and I can confirm the absence of the roots around the island is the result of your persistence, Sarah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for existing. Friends to lovers? Well, we could be. Could be. Serious fall fit. I love how much blue they've incorporated into the fall fits. It's not something I would ever personally like think of, but it works. I still pinch myself that I'm here on Coral Island being a scientist studying coral reefs and stuff. Aw. Well, I guess I did have those ocean posters all over my room as a kid, so maybe not so surprising. You manifested, Surya! Oh my gosh, he manifested. Go, Surya. I love that. Okay, is it 7 o'clock yet? I'm getting impatient. I, I want to go to the festival. <laughs> I want to go to the festival. I'm so excited. Who have we not talked to? See, they're over there. They're allowed to... Oh, Jim. We gotta talk to Jim. Hi. <laughs> I noticed there's a new boutique around the corner. Looks quite upscale. 
Betty used to run the tavern with Frank. No, not the son. I mean Frank Sr. I don't really keep in touch with her, but I think she still bakes to this day. You don't keep in touch with Betty? What do you mean? Okay, wait. If anyone in the, the island says they don't keep in touch with each other, it's so confusing to me because, like, how do you even avoid each other? Like, how do you not see each other on this island? Like, everyone's everywhere. I guess he kind of just goes to his house and then he goes to the, the kitchen and, like, back and forth. So I guess that makes sense, but. Uh, red velvet cake is Betty's favorite, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my gosh. Is it time? Is it time? Just about, you guys, can we get some mooncakes in the chat? We're about to kick off the Fall Harvest Festival. The Mooncake Festival. I'm so excited. I'm so excited, you guys. Okay. Are we ready? Are we ready? I love the mooncakes. They look so delicious. Okay. We're starting. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to like Hawkeye, see if I can see anything new. Oh, not the fly. Not the fly. <laughs> not the f okay, don't put your traps there, chat. Pro tip. Oh my gosh, look, it's the mooncake. It looks so good. I, okay. Okay, let's uh handle this. Can I not pick it up? Oh my gosh, it's going to interfere with my... Okay, that's fine. I'm sure it's not a big deal. <laughs> the fly wanted to do the pumpkin game as well. Yeah, the fly wanted to participate in the festival. <laughs> that's pretty funny. That is pretty funny. Okay, who's here? Oh, and they're all in their fall fits because the last time I was here, they were in their spring fits. It looks so good, you guys. Oh my gosh, they're here. Hi. Okay, you don't have to talk to me, that's fine. I just... Okay, it's fine. Everything is fine. The flies enjoying the festival too, landing on everything, sampling everything? Probably, oh my gosh. Probably. Uh, let me see. You guys, I wanna see if they have music for this yes they do okay i i just play the soundtrack because there's like really beautiful music in the game but not a lot of it but this is perfect look at we have a puffer fish Ugh. Despicable. But we have a chicken lantern. Izzy, thank you for the sub. Welcome in. We have a cow lantern. Oh! Hold up. This is new? Apple bobbing? Wait, let's look at the pamphlet. Harvest display is the main event. Smashing pumpkins. Apple bobbing. Harvest festival booth. Apple bobbing is new to me. I'm glad they put it here. I think originally they had it for the Cherry Blossom Festival, which is fine, but it makes more sense for this. Bobbing for apples. Yeah, that's totally new to me. I'm excited to try it. Okay. Let's uh, talk to everyone. Let's see if they have anything to say. Let's start, let's go in order. As they're moving around, but that's okay. We'll keep track of them. Uh, let's start with Charles. Why not? <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. I think I ate too many mooncakes, but I just can't stop myself from taking more. Mmm. Well, go crazy, Charles. You're not allergic to them. So, might as well, right? S just splurge. Uh, Kicknell, hi, welcome in. Charles does have a nice fit. I can't. I don't lie to you guys. So... I can't. I can't lie to you guys. I don't do that here. Charles's fit is nice. That doesn't make me like him, though. <laughs> I guess the festival's alright if you're into this sort of thing. 
Uh, Mark is like, Mark is like the partner that you like wanna, like you love all these things and he just like doesn't. And you're like, please like, we like festivals. And he's like, no, we don't. But I guess I'll go if, if you like it. No, I can't talk to you guys because I've already, look at them though, they're matching, so cute. Blossom, hi! I got your, your your membership thing came through earlier, but it didn't tell me how many months. So thank you. Thank you so much. Sarah, are you ready with the crops? I think so. Don't worry too much about the competition. It's all in good fun. Millie, I know someone who would beg to differ. So I think you're I think you've been misinformed. I think it's a big deal. Oh no, I don't want to play that right now. I want to talk to No. Let me talk to... Okay, maybe I can't talk to Nina because I've already talked to Nina. Oh my gosh, why is Valentina so mad? I like the Harvest Festival. Nana said it's her favorite festival in the world. Are you sure you like it, Valentina? <laughs> it doesn't look like she likes it, you guys. To me but maybe that's just me okay <laughs> yeah your face is otherwise exactly Alyssa. archie has the best fall fit archie has the number one fall fit i won't lose to valentina i can catch five fish too oh maybe she's stressed about catching the the fish or something best fall fit though my gosh so good little overalls uh i guess i've already talked to you guys Okay, so note to self, don't talk to the characters on festival day if you want to talk to them again. Oh my gosh, Waku's hair. Fall must be a busy time for you. No, tell me more. I always want to talk to them twice. Sometimes they don't let you. I do we? I love the hair. So good. There should be extra festival talks, Paul. I'm guessing there will be. I'm guessing that's not as it's intended, but I could be wrong. Okay, we gotta go in order. So, okay. I won't be fishing today. Looking for bugs is more exciting. I'm surprised Archie doesn't feel the same way, actually. Oh my gosh, Frank's sweater is so good. Like, I want that sweater, you guys. I want a lot of their sweaters and fits. Papa Squat says, sometimes after I talk to them and they say something sus, I'm like, please elaborate. Don't leave me like that. I know they leave you hanging so often, but it's okay. <laughs> Cisco says, I have Frank's sweater. Okay, I'm jealous. Alyssa, you have that sweater too? I don't have that sweater. But I have, you know what? I have my, I have my ghost sweater and I have my forbidden jello sweater. And those are the only sweaters I need forever and ever. <laughs> Um, I'm not cooking today, just enjoying the day with my beautiful wife here. Uh, where is she? Probably not being nosy because apparently she's not nosy. Leah? In the city, there's just so much light pollution, we can barely see the moon. I'm guessing that's all she's going to say. Cisco and I can twin. I love that you guys have that sweater. I feel like I've always wanted a sweater. I have one that's like similar in like the pattern, but it's like gray, but I like the beige. Should I get more mooncakes, you think? Look at, see, they're hanging out. They're like the best friends. Maybe later, I've been going back and forth a lot. People notice, you know? Oh, just take it. Is she like self-conscious that she's taking too many mooncakes? Just go for it. Uh, Caitlin, take care. Thanks for hanging out. Alice is so cute. 
Uh, making these lanterns with Alice really brought back some good memories. Okay, I do kind of ship them, honestly. But I like them as besties, too. I like them as besties. I kind of like the idea of, of Leah and Theo as well, actually. We had more dialogue. Jack, okay, I'll go back. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just expecting one and done now because a lot of them are giving me that. Uh, the crops competition, though, sometimes it gets a little bit intense for some folks. Okay, so no one knows. No one knows what's going on here. Okay, Leah, what else do you have to say? All about the moon. Enjoy it, Sarah. You don't see these kinds of things in Pokio. Look at that smile. Wait, that's so sweet. She's like appreciating the moon in the moment. Why do I not take Leah for someone to appreciate the moment? She should be that type of person because she like literally teaches yoga and yoga is all about like being mindful in your movements and like mindful in your body and all that. So she should be. But I just feel like her personality a lot of the time like leads you astray because she's so rude. <laughs> Leah and Theo is your ship too. I think Leah and Theo would be really nice. And I wouldn't be mad about it, because I'm not like, they're not top of my list or anything. I honestly do see Alice and Noah more though as besties. But it could be like an arc. Who's this? Oh, that's Jim. Aaliyah says festivals like these trace back to ancient times. Isn't that fascinating? That is. See, now why does she only have one thing to say? Did I already talk to her? I don't know. I think I might dance later. <gasps> Lily likes to dance. I like that. <laughs> Leah's nice for once. She is nice sometimes once you get to know her. Um, Vovi with the 11 months. We need some emeralds in the chat for Vovi, please. And thank you. Thank you, Sarah, for all the lovely cozy streams. One second, I can read the rest. <laughs> Just gotta get over here. Can't get enough of your videos too. Thank you for all you do. Love you. Oh, Vovie, thank you so much. All the love right back at ya. I'm so glad you're loving the streams. So glad you're loving the videos. I appreciate your support so much. So, so much. It makes me so happy. Lots of love. Thank you, thank you. That, oh my gosh, wait, you're that 11 months. You're one month away from your floaty. That's so exciting, Vovie. That's so exciting. My gosh, we're gonna have a flock of flamingo floaties here pretty soon. What do we, what's a, is there a word for a grouping of like boats? A fleet? Would it be a fleet? A fleet of flamingo floaties? Uh, Kikunos has just got home, so our half cat, or half cat, our half cat. I'm sorry, Kikno. Our cat, Speed Bump, is yelling for me every time she loses track of me. Sending love to Speed Bump. Hi, Speed Bump. I'm sorry I called you a half cat. You're a full cat. You're a whole cat. You expect Leah to look up and say, oh, that moon is in the wrong place tonight, right? I love that Lily's gonna dance. What do you call a group of flamingos? A flotilla of floaties? A flotilla? Is that a word? Chicken, chicken, ing ch chicken ingos? <laughs> A flamboyance? A flamboyance of flamingo floaties? Is it really? Well, I love it. A flamboyance fleet? A triple F? You guys are great. My gosh. Oh, Lily says I'll ask my brother if he wants to dance with me. I don't want to do it alone. Wait, ask me. I love dancing. It is really, Jack? <laughs> A flamboyance? Okay, we're keeping that. A flamboyance of flamingo floaties. I want to dance with Lily. Yeah, right? We'll dance with her. We'll dance with her. Wait, don't leave. I'm going to lose track of you. Good thing I brought lots of film for today. I'm going to take some photos of the giant chicken later. And of course, the massive cow over there. Have you seen it? No, I don't know how they made those structures. They're so cool. We dance with both of them. Appealing offer. Mm-hmm. 
I've never seen anything like this before. Things are different back in the city. Even though it's always crowded in the city, people there are distant. It's intimate here. I like it. Okay. Okay, okay. Scott could get a bump. Scott could get a bump on my rankings. Depends where things go. Have you tried the mooncakes yet? I have not, Anne. I'm making my rounds. I'm talking to everyone first. And then I'll have some mooncakes. Oh my gosh, look at these two over here. <laughs> Don't be too focused on business, Sam. Relax and enjoy the festival. Good advice, Sunny. I love Sunny's sweater too. Ugh, their fits are so good. The fall fits, I think, are the best so far. Um, partly, I feel that way because I love fall fashion, but I just think they're so good. I'm really excited to see the winter ones, though. I think they're going to be amazing too. Sunny with the advice Sam needs to hear, right? He is always talking business, and that's why I can't connect with him. Okay, good. I didn't have to... I don't have to talk to him. Theo? I'm getting lots of inspiration for my new song. Oh, that's good. There's lots of inspiration here for sure. I might do one about someone getting run over by the massive chicken on the way here. Okay, that's not the inspiration I was thinking of. I was thinking like the lights, the leaves, the friends, the, you know, I wasn't thinking getting run over by a massive chicken for inspiration, but that's fine. Oh yeah, that'd be a hit. We'll let you do that. Paul says, I gotta learn to make mooncakes. You're a farmer, right? Do you know how to make them? Uh, in this game I do, in real life I do not. Blossom, take care. Have a great shift. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for your support. See you again soon. Biker Theo, totally. Do I have a blue heart with Theo? I'm getting some blue hearts, which means... What does that mean? How many hearts is that? Well, must be max that I can right now. Eight. So they do it like different colors and then if like for two hearts, or do they do it for every heart? Like it'll be like half a heart, a whole heart, half a heart, a whole heart, half a heart, a whole heart, and different colors. They've changed it a couple times, but it's something like that. So a blue heart is like the best we can do before we fall in love basically you guys have any you guys are gossiping i know it jack is a presence it's like grandma got run over by a reindeer Alyssa, i didn't even think about that <laughs> grandma got run over by a chicken is that theo's version papa squad says i didn't read up to chicken i was like run over <laughs> yeah <laughs> Run over by a chicken. Honestly, that would hurt though. That chicken is like giant. It probably weighs like, I don't want to know how much it weighs. Jack says, I'm having fun. Oh, that's good. Wow, he's having fun. I have no one maxed out. I didn't want to spoil too much before the actual release. Barbara, that's a smart idea. I, it's just, it's naturally happened over the last year. But even some of the characters I've maxed out, I haven't seen like any of their events or I'm just starting to see some of them now because they didn't like they don't all have events in the game right now so I haven't got like we've gotten somewhere with some of the storylines but there's so many we don't know like anything about which will be so fun to Shrek are you calling Jack Shrek Anastasia or are you saying Shriek <laughs> I don't know which one it oh it is Shrek it's like the vest <laughs> Wait, what? So listen up. Tickets for the festival. You need a separate ticket to enter the contest. What do you say? Um, I think it's a brilliant idea if I say so myself. Okay, maybe this is why Brie and Walter get along. Is she trying to sell tickets to this? The trees are happy today, so am I. Aww. 
Are you happy today? Yes, I'm so happy today. I'm only here to see Jack compete. It's not a bad idea to come here every now and then. I should do it more often. I liked Kenny's dialogue. I don't know about Brie. I don't know about Brie trying to sell tickets. And monetizing the festival. Yeah, this is supposed to be like a community thing. That's just like... I mean, they also don't need the funds. Have you seen the houses they're all living in? And uh, like... The stuff that was all disheveled, I have fixed. The economy should be booming right now. We should have tourism and... <laughs> I don't know, it should be fine. I don't think we need to monetize the festival. Those paper mache chicken and cow sculptures are gigantic. I do love Kemp's fall fit as well. Okay, that's it, okay. Uh. Okay, we've already talked to you. I kind of, I don't usually wanna to talk to Walter again, but I'm kind of sad because I wanted to see if he would say anything about the ticket sales but we already talked to him earlier no worries Raphael. it's fun once you get the hang of it hello sarah are you interested in carpentry too like this young man we'd be more than happy to teach you no thanks dinda no thank you goodbye i'm a bit tired after getting the festival ready those giant papier papier mache animals are very heavy Oh, did you make them or move them or both? <gasps> you guys, when, when they do this portrait, this portrait, it's so good. But I don't mind. It's the least I can do since I'm not that good at other things. Who told you that? You know who told him that? Guess who told him that? He's not good at things. Take one guess. Actually, there could be two right answers to this. <laughs> There's two right answers. Actually, three, technically. I collect hearts with Ben to know what happens with Fun Bucket. I need to know, too. Dora, that's a smart strategy. Karen, Pablo. I can't believe he's talking about himself like that. It's so sad. I think it's probably a combination between the parents and having Pablo as the older, or younger, older sibling. <laughs> older sibling. I get so confused with Pablo and Raphael because I don't know why to me it's always seemed like the opposite for their ages. Like I've always thought it was the op- well, yeah, I've always thought it was the opposite and I have to keep flipping it in my brain. I don't know why I had that impression. I think it's the parents, right? must be that's so sad though that's so sad to me oh i just realized my chat switched back to make sure you guys' chat is on live chat mine just switched back to top chat i don't know why it does that like halfway through the stream for me sometimes i don't like that because then i miss some of your chats okay i guess we'll talk to pablo we must protect Raphael. i agree probably because Raphael seems so mature yeah that's probably it, hey? <laughs> That's probably it. The pumpkin smash is so fun, you should give it a try. Oh, I love the pumpkin smash, Pablo. Why am I standing this way? Stop it. Don't worry about winning, just have fun. As he's like sweating, does that mean he's lying? Does that mean he's really competitive? He's like, don't worry about winning. I'm gonna win. Barbara, take care, thanks for hanging out. Oh my gosh, Betty with the mooncakes. You look relaxed, dear. Oh, that's good. I'm glad. That's it. Betty with the mooncakes. Can I have some? Can I, can I have some mooncakes, please? Oh, there's a shop. Hold on, there's a shop. It better not be supporting Karen, though. Karen, why are you here? You don't like community. Why are you here? I'm not moving. Karen will move. <laughs> Karen will move. She's not gonna move. Okay. Yeah, let's get some mooncakes in the chat. Look how cute this little stand is. I just hope it's like... 
Oh, <gasps> wait. Oh, wait, there's puffer fish on the moon cakes. Wait. Why did I forget that? There's puffer fish on the moon cakes. You guys, I'm not kidding. The amount of changes this game has gone through and the amount of like stuff that's happened just on the channel over the last year plus. Sometimes I feel like I'm experiencing these things like for the first time again, which is incredible. Like genuinely feels like the first time. Like I'm discovering that there's puffer fish on the moon cakes again. What do you have to say about this? I can't even talk to you guys. Betty, why did you let them put the puffer fish? You know what, Betty probably had no say. Probably had no say in the matter. I'm gonna finish talking to everyone so I don't get lost and then I'm gonna check the shop. Reyna, blink twice if you want out of puffer fish. We need to save Reyna, the poor girl. And Ceres with a five, thank you so much. You guys, can we please get some hearts in the chat for Zeris? Who said, I just want to say thank you. I found you with Coral Island and I love this game and you're a great person. Oh my gosh, you're a great person, Zeris. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you discovered our community and Coral Island and all that good stuff. Thank you so much for the support. Lots of love, appreciate you. That's so sweet. I don't want to imagine a world where we didn't all find each other, you know, you guys. I'm just grateful every day for our community and Coral Island, of course. Because like I said earlier, it's bigger than the game. Coral Island is bigger than the game. Will you be entering the cooking contest? No. I'm entering the harvest display contest. I hope. <laughs> That's what I came prepared for. Mom always does. Let's see what she has in mind this year. Oh, can I compete against Brie? She'd definitely be a better cook than me. Ben's sweater looks very comfy. Are we almost at 200 likes? Let's go, you guys. Thank you so much. If you haven't taken a second to like the stream yet, please consider doing so. I really appreciate it. And guess what? I promise it is free. I promise. Pinky promise it's free. And it does help more people discover not only our community, but this beautiful game. So thank you so much, you guys. And then I told that slime to scram. Luckily, it agreed. Close call. <laughs> the little bloop. Did you encounter a bloop? Sarah, oh, you missed the best part. I just told a story about meeting a slime at the mine. It was intense. I feel like Ben would want to adopt the slime. Thank you guys so much for 200 likes on this stream. We need some hype in chat for that. We need to hype you guys up. You guys did incredible with that milestone. Thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, you guys. Seriously, thank you, thank you, thank you. All the hype infinite hype levels today you guys the hype oh my gosh the, if i'm feeling this amount of hype today when this game releases hype through the roof like i don't even know what's gonna happen it's gonna be crazy okay let's check this shop yeah i feel like ben would adopt a slime oh we can purchase discounted oh my gosh zeris there's your candy the alerts are snoozing a bit. I was like, where is Zeri's candy? There it is. Thank you again so much. We can get discounted mooncakes. Compost. Wild seeds. Discounted fertilizer. Discounted barley and fairy rose seeds. Pear seedling, cocoa seedling. Interesting. So it's like, it is like harvest stuff. I wonder if maybe in the early game, like when you first go to the festival, these will be things like you don't have access to, I wonder, and then maybe you'll be able to get them like early or something. That'd be interesting. That would be interesting. I hope they make it so our characters can sit down on chairs. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I did tweet at them after the charity stream for that. They did not respond, which means they do not want to share. 
They don't want to leave any little hints. They don't want me to speculate on anything that they say. Okay, I think we talked to everyone, but I do want to do the mini games. Playing Coral Island and watching the stream, Laura, so let's go. Enjoy Coral Island. Hopefully we get exclusive decor or something in the future. Jack, I hope so too. Like a cool exclusive lantern. It doesn't have to be like this big. Like a mini version would be really cool as a souvenir. Or like one of these, like a garden cart, garden wagon. Oh, that'd be nice. Or like some kind of mooncake themed decor. Yeah, that'd be nice with these pumpkins. There's lots of assets they already have in the game that they could just use, they could just sell. I, if it works that way, I don't know how game, de game design works. Uh, Katie, hello, hello. Also hope we can play volleyball with the characters. That'd be a fun mini game for sure. Okay, let's do this smashing pumpkin mini game. I forgot how to play though, let me check. Smash the pumpkin. A dash. Yeah, we want gold and normal. Or the big ones, but not the moldy ones. The rotten pumpkins. Okay. Oh, they don't let me practice anymore? Beg your pardon? Okay. No practice today. Oh, right. It's very precise. I need that one. It's the worst when a moldy pumpkin spawns like right at your feet and you can't dodge it. <gasps> like that almost just happened. Good dodge, Sarah. Okay, wait, excuse me. Okay, that one's already smashed. I love this mini game so much. Oh, we can really go quick on that. Oh my gosh. Swing and a miss. <gasps> Careful, don't get the, okay. All those last last ones I hit like right when they're despawning. How many did I get? Zoe beat me by one point? There's no way her little legs could carry her around the, the area that quickly. <laughs> I almost hit a rotten one a couple times. I wanted to practice first, but that's okay. I feel like I did pretty good. I feel like I did pretty good. 79 is very good. I'll, next year I'll get Zoe. Well, there won't be a next year on this save file, but that's okay. <laughs> Thanks for the GGs. The pumpkins. Oh my gosh, me and the pumpkin. Did you see how many times um, I would hit it? And it would like despawn mid swing, so it wouldn't count. That was crazy at the end there. I would have had Zoe if it weren't for those ones, but I'm pretty proud of that with no practice. That's pretty good. Thank you guys. Thank you for the GGs. Thank you for the pumpkins. So I was getting so close to 25K. A little sad I can't work on the diorama this weekend, but going on a day trip with both sides of my family. Oh my gosh, have fun. Have lots of fun with that. You got time. You got time to work on it. That's gonna be crazy when we hit that milestone. Apple bobbing. Okay, can I please practice this one though? Oh, they said no and no instructions. Okay, give me a second here. A uh, happy tree, hello. Okay, so we're gonna learn by doing. We're gonna learn on the spot. No practice, no instructions. So I'm gonna. Okay, right. Okay, sure. Three, two, one. Okay, don't get the one with the skull on it. Space, eat. Move, eat. Oh my gosh. Give me that one. Oh my gosh, she feels like she moves so slow. Not that one, that one's already been eaten. Okay, every time, have you guys played this one? Sometimes I'm pressing the space bar like three times to get it to bob. Okay, now it's working. I think it's when you're close to moving. After you move, there's like a delay. Maybe that's intentional to slow you down. Just press it twice every time, Sarah. 
I'll just press, I'll just double tap the space bar. And double tap the arrow keys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! I won! I won! I beat Alice, Zoe, and Archie. 116? It wasn't even like that close. That was fun. That was fun, but the only thing I would prefer is if I didn't have to like triple tap the keys sometimes to get it to go, but maybe that's part of it. I don't know. I don't know if that's part of it or not, but a little tricky. Played it two times. It is a little tricky, but it's really fun. I like where they're going with it. I like that mini game a lot. Thanks for the GGs, you guys. I won. I won apple bobbing and I didn't even get to practice <laughs> or get instructions. I'm glad they had the little prompts at the bottom of the, the screen. Otherwise, I would have been lost. I was trying to click at first. So... You were in Macy's apple bobbing photo shoot. That's so cute that she was there taking pictures. I, oh, I got an apple sapling. Where was this year one for me? I needed that. That's cute. See, that's a really good prize like your first year. I wonder if they'll change the prizes over the years or if it'll be the same one. I don't know. You must get a prize then if you win that too. Maybe you'll get pumpkin seeds. <laughs> Uh, Katie, thank you for lurking. Enjoy your lurk. It would be really nice year one to get an apple sapling. That was like crazy. Love apple bobbing against my brother. I've never tried apple bobbing ever. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like it would hurt my jaw. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So I think I've seen everything. I checked out the mini games. I checked out the shop. I talked to everyone. And then we're left with the main event. We checked the pamphlet. Let me just make sure we got everything. Yeah, we got everything. So, can I place my... Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, this is their display? Oh, I mean your display? Can I look at it? <gasps> oh. Oh, well, that is good. Wait. How come they get to have duplicates? Berry rose honey? Large quail egg? In theory, my display should be way better than this one. Those are good though. The osmium melons, I would have liked to have had instead of the strawberry, but I just didn't have any. I totally would have brought an osmium melon if I had one. Point, oh, whoa, 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 hold on. Point system. Okay, that doesn't say anything. Start review. No. They're gonna judge me. Submit crops. This is, I'm confused. Submit crops. Okay. So, I have the wine. And I don't think my yogurt processed in time and that's fine. So then I have cauliflower and a strawberry and a snowdrop mayo i guess i don't have to do one of each it looks like but <laughs> can i take their melon <laughs> i think their display is kind of lame yeah Alyssa, i'm with you i'm with you on that <laughs> wish i could take their melon you got this thank you how do you know what's best ariel i would guess the higher the star quality is better and then also probably the value of the, the the item so like my my wine's worth quite a lot i'd also like i picked cauliflower because it was the highest value veggie i had i'm confused though because i do wonder if i could just put like six bottles of wine there could be some variety maybe like to it but they did ask me for one of each so i'm gonna go with what they asked i'm not gonna like change it and add a strawberry jam or something just to be safe since they asked for one of each of these things. It must be randomized. When I played this festival, he had six osmium large quail eggs. Interesting. No, this is my wine. 
This is my wine. I came here so specifically to show off to Walter that my wine is better than his. Okay. Oh, they put them out. Wait, that's so cute. Look at the little wine bottle. Oh, look. They have the star quality on the front. Like here, he has gold. St <laughs> gold stars. Gold stars? What are gold stars? I don't know her. We don't know gold. Look at my purple stars. Look at how big the strawberry is. That's so cute. That's so cute. Paul says, it's okay to type yes. They would judge you and the result would be wonderful person, great content creator, best of YouTube award from your chat. Aw, you guys get the best chat award too from me. You guys are awesome. Gold star, amateur, right, Alyssa? I love it. I love it. I mean, I don't want to get too confident here though. They could, there could be a plot twist, right? He does have those, those melons. So we don't know. Okay, so I display it. Wait, that's so cute. I want to take a picture with my first display. Bobby, could you move, please? Macy, could you come take a picture of me and ask Bobby to move, please? Where'd you go? Or Leah, you could too. Leah, you could ask Bobby to leave. You probably don't want him in your Insta post, right? You probably just want me. Could you come do that for me, please? Okay, I'll just take the picture and move on. The stars are so cute. I love it. I love how they put that on the outside of the box. I thought Leah was actually coming over for a second. I was like, oh my gosh, she listened to me. <laughs> you guys are ready? Okay, so when I do that, then I do submit, I guess. No, that, I did submit. So I do start review. When I was thinking of submitting, I was thinking of like submitting an assignment, like the final thing. Okay, we're gonna start the review. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. Hmm, interesting. It's Jeff Smith. Oh my gosh, Jeff Smith is judging my crops and my products. Interesting. Is interesting good or interesting bad? Quite interesting indeed. He doesn't even have icons. He doesn't even have models for some of his products. <laughs> uh, Gemsworthy, thank you for the sub. Welcome in. No pressure, it's just Jeff. Oh my gosh. Everyone, gather around, please. Let's get this ceremony underway. Oh my gosh, this is so official. The Harvest Festival is not just about displaying the fruits of our labor. It's about celebrating the hard work, dedication, and resilience of our farmers. Every single item on display here carries a story. A story of nurturing, of patience, and of perseverance. See, this is why I love Jeff Smith. <laughs> the Jeff Smith. I'm starstruck, right? Kicknell, same. Edge of my seat, says Papa Squat. See, I love Jeff's perspective. I don't think Bobby shares this perspective. So I should win. <laughs> I should win for the spirit, if nothing else. A story that represents the spirit of our communities. Starlet Town and Beluga Bay. Guys, what if we can go to Beluga Bay and island hopping one day? That'd be crazy. Wait, who are these people? There's other people here, chat. Jeff looks like a king up here. He sure does, Jack. Now to, to introduce our competitors today. On my right, representing Starlet Town, is Sarah. It's me. Brooke? <laughs> Could you imagine? And on my left is Bobby, proudly representing Beluga Bay. All roads lead to Brooke. Oh my gosh, she says dilly dally. <laughs> I feel like I'm the only person who says dilly dallying. Now with no more dilly dallying, let's roll on to the moment we've all been eagerly anticipating, the grand reveal. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Okay, we got 115 points, that's good. 104, diversity points. Bonus for diversity, you guys. <gasps> oh my gosh. No! What do you mean? What do you mean? Diversity, why did you get diversity points? There's no diversity. 
Are you actually kidding me? Rigged? This has to be rigged. Are you kidding me? Look at my display compare. Kate. Maybe I really needed the yogurt. Maybe I couldn't get away with the milk. But they're all osmium. They're all osmium. Sus chickens, absolutely in the chat. Matt Sarah's in the chat. What the heck? We've been robbed. Diversity score? What is this diversity bonus? Look at my diversity. I know my diversity score is higher. Three points? No shot. No shot. Ugh. Ugh. I think it's rigged. I didn't win either. Maybe overall his stuff is worth more. I don't know though. I have my wine. Like. You know what though? You know what? Actually. You know what? I'm glad I lost because guess what? I have a vengeance now. I'm coming for Bobby in 1.0. Okay? I have a new rivalry. So I'm glad I lost because it's it's lit a fire in me. It's lit a fire in me. Next year or 1.0, I'll have yogurt. I hope. Oh my gosh, what if we don't have yogurt makers? We'll cross the bridge when we get there. Bobby will be taken down. Exactly. You know what? I'm taking I'm taking a picture of this though. I need to remember what they had, what he had that was so good. Looks boring to me, but whatever. They should have given like a colorful bonus too, because look at my display. Walter and Bobby, we're coming for them both. Three points away. So close. I thought I I thought like I had it, and then I saw the points going up. And it was so close, but not quite. We have beef now. We sure do. Tanya, hi. Restarted the day, couldn't let Bobby win. That's so funny. We're gonna let's sabotage his crops next year. Let's get our boat fixed up. Let's go to Beluga Bay and sabotage his farm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bobby has a whole community out for him. Bob's got to watch his back. Walter and Bobby, you won't see it coming. We're going to get them. We're going to get them. You know what? Whatever. I can't believe that. Oh, and now, no, he's going to gloat. He's going to gloat. Jeff, how could you do this to us? Look how cute my display is. <laughs> Look how cute my display is. It even has wine. Don't you like wine? Maybe Jeff doesn't like wine. Maybe Jeff knows about Walter and he's like, ugh. Just like triggered by wine. The winner of today's harvest face-off goes to Beluga Bay. I look forward to seeing both of you back next year. You know what, Jeff? It's not your fault, but it... So rude. Yeah, he's gonna be... Look at him! What, is he a bird? Ha! Huh, I knew it. No competition at all. Just like Daddy always said. You know what, Bobby? That is fake news because there was competition. You won by three points. You won by three points with non-premium products. Okay? So... I gave you a run for, for your money, whether or not you want to admit it. See, Sarah, it's all about charm, strategy, and having the best produce. Which I do have, minor osmium. Better luck next time. Ugh, insufferable. Bobby paid off Jeff. <gasps> I know I hate the daddy. Alyssa, I hate it. Well, you gave it a go. But let's face it, this is my turf? Uh-uh. We're on Coral Island, Bobby. I think you forgot where you are. This is my turf. Mine. We're not in Beluga Bay. What the heck? Maybe next year you'll spice things up with a real challenge? Well, if you won by three points this year, next year, you're just going down. There's not even going to be a competition for me next year, because I know what to do. What is this? Oh, these are the rewards. Oh. Oh, you want to win. You want to win that. You can get 160 points. So, wait, this is... I like the tiered reward system, though. This is cool. Flower bouquet. Moon cake. So if you get less than 75 points, you get a flower bouquet. More than 75? Less than, wait, more than 75, sorry. More than 75, you get a flower bouquet. I got confused because there's two 75s. 
So if you don't get 75 points, you don't get anything. And then you can get a mooncake. Sprinkler too. That could be useful first year, I think. Graven Giant's Ring. So I got that. And then if you get the most points, you get a stamina fruit. Look, I was so close, but so far. 145, 160 is like too much higher. Takumi, thank you for lurking. Enjoy your lurk. Get the giants to rough him up a little before he leaves the island. What if I equip this ring? What if I equip this ring? Less than, less than 75 is okay. I'm confused. It is less than 75. Okay. Less than 75 is this. More than 75 is this. More than 110 is this. More than 140 is this. So you have to get more than those amount of points. This really threw me off for some reason. The 275 markers. So I was right the first time. Sarah, stop second guessing yourself. So I got a ring. They got... You got a stamina fruit? Well, you probably need it. So, I don't need it. I have 924 stamina. Every day. What does this do? Chance to gain energy from doing farm work. Oh, that's like a perfect ring for this. Gain energy from doing farm work. If you get that year one, that's really cool. Math, Sarah. <laughs> yeah. Math is fun. Okay, that is that it? Jeff, was that it? Can I sell them now? Yeah, can I take them back? Yeah, I'm taking these back. Bye. Can I take yours? No. <laughs> I thought maybe I could. But no. Well, that was fun. Karen probably loved that. I'm glad I can take them back. <laughs> Handsome will get them for us. We have the power of the god, goddess of flowers, and Jenna. <laughs> Jenna! Where's Jenna? Can I play again? <gasps> Let me play again. Do, 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 do. Also guys, don't put your, your bug traps here. Pro tip. <gasps> Two golden pumpkins side by side. Oh my gosh, I just barely dodged that. Did you see that? Girl, please. That had to have been better, right? Oh my gosh. Knocked it out of the park. Whew. Redemption. Redemption against the children. <laughs> Can I get some pumpkins in the chat? You guys, it's, it's all this pro gaming I've been doing lately. It's paid off. All this pro gaming I've been doing in the month of October. Uh, Joe with the two months. Joe, thank you so much for being a member for two months. You have your ice cream cone. Hi. Hi, Sarah. Hi, chat. Hello, hello. We need citrines in the chat for Joe, please and thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. We got all sorts of emotes in the chat right now. I love it. I love it. I love it. Redemption against the. And then I realized Zoe, Archie, Oliver, the children. <laughs> wow, Sarah, you really. <laughs> I'm like suddenly that person at the event that's like, I'll show them. And it's like a bunch of kids, like <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> it's so funny. Sleepy says, I woke up for redemption against the children and to say I'm bewildered is an understatement. That's so funny. 
Honestly though, I still feel like I killed that. I feel like I did really well. That was fun. I love that mini game. I love that. I love it, I love it. Uh, thank you again so, so much, Joe. And, oh my goodness, thank you, Shayla. Welcome into the Emerald tier of membership. We need emeralds in the chat for Shayla, please and thank you. Uh, please enjoy all the extra content you've unlocked, all the good stuff, the emotes, the member streams, gaming after coffee. Everything should be organized for you under the membership tab. So you should be able to find it all there. Uh, thank you so, so much. And also extra emeralds for Tiffany with the six months. Cheers to that, Tiffany. That is half an entire year. In case you didn't know, that's crazy. So excited for 1.0. Happy to have this cozy community. Likewise, I'm so hyped, Tiffany. And I'm so happy that you guys, how much better is it? How much better is 1.0 for the fact that we get to experience it together? Like no other experience is unmatched. So... I'm with you. Thank you, Tiffany, so much. Thank you, Shayla, so much. Appreciate you both. Um, we're gonna head out here. Oh, look at this. This giant mooncake is so nice. It's so well done. And now we have to, you know, we'll be back next year. It's gonna be harder though next time because next time when we play, it's gonna be 1.0. We're not gonna have osmium crops, I don't think. There's gonna be a, oh, this is gonna be a journey against Bobby, hey. Can we get mooncakes in the chat one last time before I end the festival? Because I just love the mooncake. It's like the most aesthetic edible item, I feel like, that I didn't even know existed before Coral Island. Do they give the mooncake recipe? Oh, Paul, that would be a really good... If you could unlock that via this festival, that'd be really cool. I like that idea. Yeah, look how cute it is. Sleepy, there's always the replay. You gotta watch the replay for that festival. There's some drama. There's some drama, okay? You gotta check it out. And we're back home and it's midnight. Wow. Wow. Okay, it's getting late. Let me, I don't even have time to chat with you guys before putting my character to bed. So let's just head right to bed. See if we unlocked anything from that. I don't know that we did. Oh, we got merit points, right? Because we attended the festival and we won the apple bobbing mini game. So we got, a, what about the pumpkin one? <laughs> I guess the pumpkin one was kind of like a cheat because I don't think I was supposed to be able to play it a second time But that's cool. You get merit points for winning a game and for attending the festival in general. So that's really nice I'm gonna take a picture of that too Yeah, there's tea There's tea just when you think the tea can't get any hotter. It sure does Sean, hello. Hello. It's okay. No worries. I hope you enjoy the replay. I'm just wrapping up basically uh, We're just checking what we Accomplished look I got all these hearts you guys Got her with Dinda. Dinda, Eleanor, Jack, Lily, Paul, Raj, Surya, Theo. This could have been partially from attending the festival because it's more dynamic now. Also just chatting with them. We made a little bit of money. What did I even sell? Wow, that was, see you guys, these mushrooms are valuable. The Matsutakes, like I, bar I didn't even sell anything really. Still got a bit of extra coin, that's good. We can get some bling in the chat. Every, every coral coin counts, you guys, leading towards the full release, because you're going to be starting with nothing, really. Well, a little bit. All right, friends. All right, friends. I am going to wrap up the stream here. I'm going to go start working on the trailer breakdown video for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Please make sure your notifications are on so you don't miss out on that. Let me pull up my lovely little member thanks. Thank you guys so, so much. My goodness, I am so excited about all that is to come for this game and our community. Today's stream was such a delight. It was so nice to see so many of you again. I'm very, very excited. We're ramping up for Coral Island, you guys, so please make sure you're subscribed with your notifications on. There's gonna be lots of content for Coral Island. We're gonna hype up for the release. We're gonna do tons once it's out. Lots of videos, lots of tips and tricks, guides, all that good stuff coming your way. Ruby, Ruby with the six months. That's that's also half a year for you. You guys, we need emeralds in the chat for Ruby, please. And thank you. Cheers to six months. You got your drink badge too. Thank you for the stream. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Ruby, I hope you enjoy the rest of your time zone as well. All the love. Thank you so much for all the support. I appreciate you so, so much. Thank you for being a member. And thank you so much to all my beautiful members. Cat, hi, I see you too. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, 
All your support means that I can continue to create all this content for everyone all the time. Uh, and I'm just so, so excited to finally dive into all these videos that I've been putting on hold for Coral Island until the full version comes out. So definitely get ready for that, you guys. Get ready for lots of streams and all that good stuff. Uh, this week, I do have another... Um, couple streams we have on friday we're playing super mario brothers wonder it's gonna be fun we're doing a princess peach playthrough and then on sunday is five nights at freddy's next week i'll share my schedule ahead of time as usual with you guys to let you know what's going on um but yeah all that good stuff my friends thank you so much thank you so much to tansy jack cisco and Alyssa for modding today you guys are incredible all the love appreciate you guys so much and thank you guys for all of the support in any way shape or form that you have given it to me today and all days thank you for being here chatting liking the stream lurking hanging out watching watching the ads appreciate that it helps um thank you so much to everyone who you know signed up for a membership today gifted a membership gave a super chat all that stuff you guys it means so so much to me thank you so much thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart enjoy all of your new perks as well that were unlocked please make sure to connect your discord and youtube one last reminder for that today um i think that's all i have to say to you guys but otherwise you know where to find me after party is on the discord lots of love thank you for taking care of each other be sure to also take care of yourselves all the love in the world you guys please know all the love sending your way um, yes, you gained a heart with Sarah. Sleepy, you get it. You gained a heart with me. At the end of every stream, you gained a heart with me. I think it's cute. Anyway, I love you guys. I'll see you very soon whenever you can make the next stream. And until then, bye everyone.